Thank you. 
Thank you. 
イナルクローズリバイド Matrino for the tournament. You know, Matrino. The thing that lets you add money to a pot for tournaments and you can add 25 cents for free. Anyways, hey there. I just like going um, to the page. I am a boomer. I, okay. I do not know how to <laughs> tangle around with this. Well, you're, you're more like more busy right now with the uh, lobby, so. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, hi, okay. everyone. Looks like we're I'm going. not finding any solutions on Google. 
Welcome to Glizzy Wednesdays. Glizzy Thursdays. We've got Skullgirls going. Uh, but it wouldn't be Glizzy Wednesday without technical difficulties and our third commentator cannot get in. I'm sorry, everyone. Is that, is that a recurring theme? Is that? We have technical difficulties every single Glizzy Thursday and Wednesday. It happens and every time. And Glizzy Wednesday, permanent name, subsidy. This is a, what was it? Glizzy Thursday, temporary name, a subsidiary of Glizzy Wednesday, permanent name, Skullgirls, yeah. the alternate to Killer Instincts? This, no, no. Melty? Is Melty the other Glizzy yes. Thursday game? Yes. Okay. Alternative Melty. Uh, sure. Where the hell is Kirkhammer? Uh, mm. How to join a Steam link inside a, a game. You... For me, I literally just open the game, and I have it in beta mode, and then I click the button. Kirkhammer and Drake are about to start up, it looks. Yep. Is this the same Drake from, uh, from Plus R? Yes. Maybe I need to be oh, in the main great. menu for some dumb reason, and then maybe it'll work. Nope, preparing to launch Skullgirl's second encore. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fail to join lobby. Version rich match. What do we even do to spectate exactly? Do uh, I just wait? Yeah, well, it, it's just in character select right now. Oh, oh, we don't get to see him pick their characters? That's fine, I guess. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. I have to be quick on the draw. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Rusel, if you cannot join the lobby, then you're just gonna not be able to commentate. I'm sorry. I mean, we did a Discord stream last time, and it was pretty good. No, it wasn't. You were super delayed. Wait, did I you mean, have a, I, did you have I saw the recording there? afterwards, and I wasn't that delayed. Hmm. No, I'm not doing it. This ends now. Wait a opponent. Here we go. Uh... Both have Parasol on point, double rock by Drake, Robo Fortune and Fuqua for Kirkhammer. Interesting team right there, actually. Powerful assists both for Robo Fortune and Fuqua. A lot of set play kind of setups with Fuqua, of course, and just DNI Beam, as we saw earlier right there, is a fantastic assist for any situation. Uh, Parasol double seems like it should be perfectly fine as well. Drake's, Drake's showing us some combos too. This is the reset though. Catches Robo Fortune almost says fifty percent off of some B and B's. Testing each other out here, establishing heads. Applying pressure, push block. Okay, I am going to try uninstalling. <laughs> Skullgirls main branch. <laughs> Can you do that? Can you just uninstall main Skullgirls? Yes. That's strange. They're like combined now, though. Okay. And then it says you are about to install Skullgirls second encore. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? There's no endless beta anymore. Yeah, it's all combined into the same thing. Breaking out with IPS. Parasol low. Hunting. Trade out for double. Her camera has a massive disadvantage here. That snapback isn't going to heal enough. Oh, nice combo with the throw into the clone. Killing Parasol is nice. This is going to be hard. Damage differentials here from a 3 oh, versus a 2 right team. Now. Yeah, tournament's on. Yeah, I'll be silent. That was Confirming. An looter. Excellent confirm. Huge damage. Double just does so much damage with all her supers. Just massive, massive damage and DHC potential with that character. She is considered a glue character for a reason. She is a glue. She's sloppy. She's gluing the. She's glue. She's glue. Every single assist option she has is fantastic. Fa super good damage. DHCs. Honestly, really fun to watch. I enjoy watching resets for double.
It's, it's I don't think it's right to say she's an underappreciated character because in a competitive sense everyone loves Double I think because she's just so strong. But she's not something that you'll see a lot of fan art of I'd say just because her animations are odd. To the to the untrained eye, uninitiated players, a lot of folks think that Double just uses reused assets from everyone. They don't think she has anything unique, which is just super untrue. She has great tools. First bait, excellent, catching them early. Where are these players in last Glizzy Thursday? Uh, I don't even remember. Her camera here keeping up some excellent pressure, keeping Drake in the corner. Sometimes that parasol excels at, honestly, keeping her uh, minds up. They just keep so much presence, similar to Doctor Strange. Not getting the pickup off that assist, though. Nice jump in, this will kill for sure. Setting up for double. Just playing neutral here, going in, using the assists. Distinct disadvantage here. Well, double has more damage because she's a part of a two team. Oh. She will have a hard time getting in on all of these assists. Keeping the combo going, push the corner. Reset! Another game to Drake. No, that was a 1-1 one, one now, isn't it? Here we go. So let's see. Looking at the bracket, destabilized versus Zunlight. Zunlight seems to have beat young Reggie. Uh, why did someone join? I didn't fucking close the bracket. Fuck. You didn't close the bracket? Uh-oh. Yeah, hold That's on. I, I got this. Small technical difficulties, folks. It shouldn't keep too much of this match from going on, though. This is 1-1. Whoever wins this progresses. Other person's gonna get sent to losers, naturally. Nice walk down here. Kirk Hammer trying to push Drake. Drops the combo, though. Far napalm toss. Ooh. Nice beam assist. Cracking on some damage on double. Ooh, powers through with Fukua, though. Will this be able to kill? No. Raw tagging in double. Not getting any damage though. Double's gonna take some massive hits off of this. Drops the combo though. Testing each other out here. Beam assists are just excellent in neutral. Always scary. DHT? Raids with Egret summon. Taking up double though. This might kill. Oh, reset. Good reset. Oh yeah. Just reset. This is well. the. That's don't, incredible. Don't even question. Don't even question it. No. Great crosses up sides, but doesn't continue the combo. Drops it again. Trying to chip progress. No Turns the favor. You. Stuffing summons with some with a mine. <gasps> almost, almost was able, but gets chipped out. For anyone in chat, for anyone in chat who doesn't know, uh, Skullgirls has an infinite prevention system, which keeps it so you cannot infinite anyone. In fact, the combos are built to see how long you can go, as how close can an infinite can you go without making an infinite. So it becomes very reset heavy. However, if you manage to hit an assist character while they're out in a summon, you can kill them with an infinite. There is no protection for them, and you can tell by the screen getting this like. I don't know how to describe it. Like common... Yes, yeah, like comic book speed lines. Yeah. And it starts and then, playing the main theme, and it's just very hype. It's extremely hype when it works. Uh, of course, right there, we didn't get to see one. Is this first to three? Uh, it says this first to three. 
Oh, so it's gonna be first to five for grand. Okay. No, it's first to three throughout the whole thing. Oh, okay, that works. Nice low and poopoo with slide assist. Oh no, that was double assist, what am I saying? So Kirk Hammer just needs one more to progress. Uh, nice push block there. Just play, just testing each other out here. Mirror matches always make neutral interesting, I wanna say. Doesn't get a pick up of one million though. Nice lockdown for Robo Fortune Assist, letting her go in. We'll reset with the side swap. Hunting, get off, push block, trades in. This might just kill. Ooh, picking up off the Fuku assist. Not able to get a combo off of it, though. Summoning back in Parasol seems strange considering uh, I had such, such a nice health difference going on with double here. But it, Drake must be more confident in Parasol. I don't want to pick up from throw. Um, I need a word as soon as this battle's over. Walking Drake into the corner here. Beam assist is excellent lockdown. Oh, and actually converts off that into the DHC. What's the mix up? Oh, misses the low because of the wake up timing. Pushes back into the corner. This is what you like to see as Parasol. Incredible damage here in the corner. It seems like Kirkhammer isn't used to Philia's wake up time. No, not quite. Is this a, a beginner's tournament or no? It's just no, a, just a general just, tournament. Just a okay. Tournament. Okay. A lot of people are actually have been getting back into skill growth recently because of the revival with Annie. Killing Fuku while the assist is out using the assist. DHC. Wasn't a DHC. It's just last character versus last character. Rebel Fortune actually has a hard time as anchor, but with this much meter, no question. And Kirk Hammer, after one uh, match, actually taking it. Kind of kind of fell a little bit, but stayed in. Very good stuff. Drake getting sent to losers. Nice 3-1 uh, finish. Drake did well. Drake did well. Next up, we have... Also, Russell, what did you want? So, folks are telling me that Endless Beta is deprecated? Yes. It's it's just in it's just in there. So yeah. when you boot up beta, when you boot up second encore, it's like oh, starting Annie and starting Annie beta. I've never seen that dialogue. And if it doesn't, really, you go into options while second encore is open, and then there is a uh, play in beta. Yeah, that's what folks on the Skullgirls Discord are telling me now. Oh Jesus Christ. We'll have our next. I match. wish I had known this earlier. <laughs> <laughs> at least you know it now. At gotta, least you know it now. You yeah, at, at least those, I know now. You should have looked at those beta patch notes, man. You gotta look at <sighs> that stuff. Well, hopefully, I should be able to get things sorted out yes. once uh, Skullgirls reinstalls. Yeah. Oh, goodness. <sighs> How long do you think that's gonna be? Um. It's 20% right now, and it started downloading like a minute ago, so it, be fast, it right? might be four more minutes. It's, it's not a big game, it's just a bunch of PNGs. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> Shush. There's 3D models in there. Um, I'm gonna... It's our... it's six six gigabytes. <laughs> I'm gonna get our next mess, uh, match up here. We're going to be seeing uh, Clawmaster and Mikey Milk, uh, three, four, five. All right, I'm gonna mute again. Right. Mikey Milk. Mikey Milk. Do we know anything about these players? Uh, I was just fighting Mikey earlier to test his Wi-Fi connection, and it's fine. Don't What's worry. What's his team? Uh, it was Fukua Big Band. Fukua Point. Interesting. Uh, amongst the community, for 
Big Band is considered glue. Same with Double, who we mentioned earlier. Cerebella is considered glue. Fukua, I've seen the main document, the team building doc that everyone's read before, described Fukua as not quite glue, but tape, flex tape. <laughs> and I've come, I've come to agree with that wholeheartedly since she's, she has solid assists and supers, but you have to work around them a little bit is the thing. They take strange angles, right? Like, she's got her DHC assist, that's the updo kick, and that's strange angle for a DP-type super. She's got her projectile supers, which also take strange angle depending on the buttons pressed. And her assists are perfectly fine, they're just more unique because of the summon aspect of them. Meanwhile, Big Band just DP is just incredible. It's got squiggly Big Band. Yeah, both of these players actually having Band as, uh, as their anchor. He is the most popular character in the game, believe it or not, in terms of play numbers. At least if you check, if you trust numbers on things like event hubs. He's got powerful use, powerful assist, great damage, excellent some meter. If you can learn his parries, then you, you've got a parry even. Squiggly, very set up kind of character. Set play, she's got a lot of set play with her supers, stancels for her combos, which is stance cancels. Excellent mix ups here as well, because of Leviathan's up flame. Silver Cord, I want to say, can only work uncharged on both Big Band and Beowulf in combo. Ooh, drops combo though, but it's fine. It's, it's an American reset. Will this kill? The burst bait will guarantee it. Fairly dominant first round for Clawmaster. <sighs> yeah, Clawmaster, definitely someone who knows the game, because if any of you know the the Molly Twitter, that's run by Clawmaster. Really? Yes. Clawmaster's Molly? Yep. I didn't, I, you know, I didn't see... Wait, them seriously? Yes. I didn't see them retweet uh, WYSIWYG or anything. <laughs> Damn, that's cool. It was in there. That is cool. That's how I saw Glizzy the other the other week for the first time was Molly Twitter. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah, because Clawmaster was asking for like bracket and stuff uh, two weeks ago, so I remembered that because of the fucking surf bot icon. <laughs> you never forget when someone has a surf bot icon. Tron bond mains represent. No, no, no. Surf bot mains MVC two baby. Oh joke, no! Joke characters are perish, dude. You minette players over here. <laughs> uh, speaking of minette, it looks like we're just never gonna see her lovely stage, huh? Sticking with the same teams here. No change. No change in colors even. Oh, picking the big band with this. Hello? Oh, no. That's not go for anything crazy. The snap back the kill. And it's okay. Mikey Milk's trying to keep some pressure up after that first match. Drops the combo though. Reset. Beautiful side swap mid combo. And punch it right back in the corner with the dive kick. Very steep angle that dive kick. It, it's auto corrects pretty easily as well. Oh, using the. Uh... Using the super there so that Big Band's DH, uh, DHC doesn't send him out of the corner. Very smart. Very, very smart. And being able to combo into A Train is even better. Do you play much Big Band in Evo? Is that a character you've messed with? I've messed with every single character in this game because I've been playing this game since I was 9 years old. Okay, well, uh, so for so for Big Band's DP, do you shake your stick or mash the buttons? What do you do for the I continued damage? I shake damage? my stick. I, I'm afraid to shake the stick. I, f I feel like I'm, I'm gonna hurt it if I do that. Because I play on pad, I can just spin the, spin the stick. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, that explains Did it. Did you say you're afraid to uh, shake the stick? <laughs> Listen, That's I don't want to hurt my she fight said. stick. <laughs> I don't want to hurt my fight stick is the thing. I seem to have been removed from spectating. Must have been disconnected on my end or something. Is the match still live? Yeah, match is still live. Oh, it's just my end. This happens sometimes, yep. though. Clawmaster <laughs> taking game two. Ooh. 
Ooh. We got it. Congratulations, Clawmaster. It's best of five, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's first, first of three. First of three. First of three. Just, just so we're on the same page. Best of five. First of three. <laughs> Congratulations. Tournament. Sounds like you believed he won the we, set. <laughs> we, st we established that earlier that it was first of three throughout the entire tournament. And uh, hey, guys, if you like these players, go check out the Macherino. Uh, so far, we have. $38.85. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, how do I do the Macherino thing? You press contribute and then you put the coupon code where it says coupon code and you have to sign in to contribute. Yeah, but you can sign in through accounts like oh, and Twitch I have or, to sign in. or whatever. Yeah. You can you can just sign in through the, another account. It's fine. Just sign in through my Discord. <laughs> Mike and Will taking a small lead here at the start. Nice pickup. I feel like that was an accidental uh, activation of the IPS there. Holy shit, these terms and services. Trying to use center stage, but not getting anything from it. Mikey actually getting a combo from it. Excellent. Oh, Who drops the, the combo though? Commentators no. first. No, 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 that wasn't a drop. That was a reset. Uh, failing the reset is a drop in some sense. But pushing it back to the corner. Squiggly loves these corner combos because of how many multi hitting moves she has, just in her combos themselves. With things like center stage, being able to drag the screen where you want it and to create your own corners is so. It's, a, it's such a great tool for a setup character to have. It's really disappointing that we've only seen something like that in this and Melty Blood. Beautiful overhead reset, however. That's Big Bang's biggest weakness. Due to his size, most anyone can instant overhead him. Strike of the band, packing on some nice damage. 90 hits. Oh, it doesn't punish the first. Barry! 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 We're playing third strike now. Let's go, Justin! <laughs> Was it in the Skullgirls design document where they said that one of the inspirations for Big Band was Q but good? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shows. And throw tech and kills Big Band for it. Obvious throw reset is obvious. Fuqua losing her 5 meter, meaning she loses her command grab super. Hurt, hurts. Nothing able to get any pickups off of this though. Very smart. Using a charged silver stage, almost like a chain shift there, to just look at the situation. There it is again! It stops blocking for some reason. One hit for Clawmaster, and this could Hold be on. bad! Hold on! Oh no! Drop man, though. Yep. Could have been meter there, might have killed them both if it's yep. for the level 5. Uh, actually, I think the best option there would have been to uh, double snap. But oh, right I now, that, still taking chip damage from those parries, though. Oh my goodness. If if Mikey plays this right. Oh. Oh, no. Ah, desperation. Desperate yeah. use of meter. It could have worked. Nah, yeah. That was definitely very close. All right. 3 0 for Clawmaster. Clawmaster. Moving on. Very, very close match. Almost out of time, even. You don't see that very often in Skullgirls. No. Okay. Uh, so, I got some good news, folks. Yep. Hey, welcome. Yeah, I finally got it figured out. Uh, I'm gonna wanna get this. Okay. So, my name is Russell. I commentated two weeks ago as well. I was here when Don Hibiki won that tournament. <laughs> Oh, we didn't do introductions, did we? No, I'm uh, Valerie VZM. I'm your TO. Uh, everyone else? Well, Dak, I suppose. Hi. Uh, yeah, yeah, you suppose. I'm Dak. Never before have I commentated for any Glizzy event ever. I don't know these people. <laughs> you're, uh, you're a lying <laughs> fool. Okay, well, I've commentated with Val a number of times, but this is my first time commentating with Russell. Hello, Russell. Pleasure to meet you. Howdy. We're, we're, sh we're shaking hands here. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> We're just going to be waiting here, looking at the bracket real fast, exclamation point bracket in chat, by the way, if you want to look at the challenge along with me right here, this is your reading guide, this is your playbill for tonight's opera. Uh, who are we going to see up on stream next? Uh, we are going to be seeing Destabilize and T-Zoom Light. Ooh, T-Zoom Light. 
who seems to have had a dominant 3-0 victory over young Reggie in round one. We did not see that on stream. Cute icon, that's fun. Yeah. Deuces, oh, that's a fun name to yell. Thank you, Destabilize. Deuces is gonna be great. <laughs> Fuck Abe. <laughs> Ooh, zoom light. Yes. Uh, returning from last time. Don't remember what team they played, but... Oh. Oh, we didn't get Don Hibiki back, did we? No, Don joined too late. Is Don not in this one? Oh, that's too bad. Don, was great. Don, Don tried to join, but was literally joined after 6.30 and almost ruined the bracket for us. That hurts. Okay, looks like we... Let's see what teams we've got here, folks. We've got ourselves Pain Wheel, Philia, and... Who's that third character in this? Is that Eliza? That's Eliza. Then, then Deuce is here. Uh, I already forgot their actual name, but Deuce is much more fun. Parasol, Robo Fortune, and Annie! Hello! Looks like someone wants to show off their lab work. Alright, Zoom Light with the elusive... Uh, what's what's your face? Pain wheel combo. <laughs> oh, Pain wheel fly unfly shenanigans. You love yes. Magneto here. We love Magneto. It's Marvel. Not Sentinel was the one. Okay, we got footsies. Oh, it is, it is Sentinel fly unfly. Ooh, Magneto's just fruitful. And this is actually finds a way to close the footsies with some projectile play. Takes out yeah. Zoonlight's Pain wheel. <laughs> D18 the Rib of Fortune, let, let uh, Parasol regen some HP. Trying to make this a hell of an approach for Fuqua. Gets in anyway. I feel like we're going to see a good number of Rib of Fortune players pairing her with Annie's DP assist in the coming months. An excellent pickup from overhead. Drops it, though! <laughs> Ooh, Eliza level 3 does so much damage! Picks up further! Oh, that was something. Deuces, like, dropped a combo, and then Zoonlight immediately took the opportunity and did a very fast, like, super into super thing. <laughs> Almost an immediate worst-case scenario. Eliza having getting major changes here on the Vader branch. Similarly, Robofortune also changed a lot. Uh, Eliza actually just got nerfed the other day. So her damage got reduced on her, I want to say, medium kick, which is one of her primary pickup tools on the ground in combo. Interesting. These push blocks are great. Keeping the pressure off. Good Throw, crap. though! Ooh, nice. What was that throw, though? It, that, that was just the air throw. Yep, that's just Is that a new throw? No, she's had that forever. How can you be commentating oh. this game when you don't know anything about it? <laughs> yeah, um... imagine commentating Skullgirls and not knowing anything I, about it. I, in good faith, have never seen that throw before. <laughs> uh, gonna be able to block this for the chip. No, no, she she that was not blocked. Oh, wow. You don't see that level five very often, but it worked. Just yeah, trying to I think make it a little hard to see whether or not uh, they were still in uh, hit stun or whatever there. Picks up my kill. Oh yeah, this is probably gonna kill. If oh, almost certainly. If there's one <laughs> thing, drive if there's one thing death. about Philia, <laughs> she can do some crazy mixes. Oh, to bring a comeback. Delicious, delicious. Yes, that level run. three. Uh, Incredible. Like, drop in pickup. Zoonlight by the wow, what skin a of their team. Tough, tough match. It. We got some folks here tonight, huh? That was nutsy. We got a That's couple. Tough. We got a couple gamers. We got a couple gamers. We got a little gamers. Do a little trolling. This game is about a decade old and there are some folks who just never stop playing and it shows it really shows people love Skullgirls. it's just such a good game it's so Skull it's so grills. good <laughs> i understand i understand entirely why some folks don't like it but it's it's hard to hate it's hard to hate Skullgirls. yeah it definitely is even if you don't like playing it it's just fun to watch which I might not be able to do since I had to disconnect immediately at round start. That's fun. 
Okay, so Zoom Light immediately like did a parasol flight and parasol or no, fuck. <laughs> Zoom Light pain wheel flight. <laughs> Deuce's parasol wow. takes <laughs> neutral immediately and basically like near perfect Zoom Light's pain wheel. Ooh, that's gonna be rough. So Long story short, Zoom Light's like, not having a good start. But <laughs> although it looks like Zoom Light might might be making up some of that ground now. There to get out. Okay, we got neutral. We got footsies. <laughs> Neutrals, footsies. If Zoom Light converted off of that, he'd have an easy happy birthday combo. But we're still doing footsies. Ah, oh, chipped out, unfortunate. <laughs> that was wacky. This is this is a large hill to climb for Eliza, but if you can get a good segment combo, you can gain all that health back. Eliza has very strong damage in this current patch, and Sekhmet's most recent Ooh, that was like a max range combo. No, we're we're ABBA fans here, so we love characters who can just regen all their health in one combo. Actually, Ooh, uh, oh. canceled the level three there to continue the pressure. Looks like oh. this will kill. It's yeah. not. No. no <laughs> been like, uh, there was no way he was making it back from all that. Yep. Abe was. Beam. Abe, Beam. Abe, Beam. Abe was not allowing Zoomlight to even get a chance of a comeback. Very good stuff. Beams. Jesus. Do so much chip. What a good super. So like the score is one one. The score like... is one one. If, you, if you're ever thinking, hmm, what character should I put on my team? I want someone new to lab. Just RoboFortune's assist alone is a good reason to learn the character. It's so solid. <laughs> it's so meaty. Or you could be me and just not have a keyboard with NQ rollover and not be able to use assists. <laughs> oh no! It sucks. <laughs> It's, it's a good excuse to, to play solos, honestly. No one can judge you for that. Here we are, back <laughs> to the match. A little bit of neutral, poke in and out. You know, Parasol my birthday's coming out. up. Maybe I should ask for a better keyboard. That's a good idea. And I mean, oh. I'm already asking for a better mouse, so I might as well. <laughs> Why don't I just ask for a new laptop? <laughs> oh, wow. Armors through assist! Zoom nice light hate oh, wow. using hatred. Just that was using a hatred armor. Kill. This is what you like to see with this character. Yep. Those Shenanigans. Heavy punches. Oh my goodness. Mix. Dude, mix. Is, is mix. Painwheel a secret top tier? <laughs> Painwheel's just good. If you don't know how to deal with it. It's just that all of the hits that Abe has been hitting getting hit by have been overheads. Just this is, Oh yeah. This definitely seems like a not knowing the matchup thing. Any, any character can look like a top tier if you don't know how to block overheads. <laughs> Painwheel as a character is very powerful if you don't know the matchup, which is great considering a lot of people just don't play Painwheel. She's difficult to make work because of her fly-unfly combos and taking advantage of armor for Hatred install, which we didn't get to see Hatred install, but ooh! Zoom Light lost here. Painwheel, but look at that meter. It is flashing. It is begging to be used. I mean, <laughs> he's not going to find much use for it if he can't get out of this combo. <laughs> okay, pushback block. Oh no, but he gets grabbed. And go. he gets supered. All right. And that is Philia. Oh, uh, with okay. the air grab, timing was just off. Maybe he should just spend his entire uh, meter on just being in Sekhmet mode. <laughs> you, Sekhmet doesn't use meter anymore. Sekhmet he uses health. No, no. Sekhmet uses health, and you can heal it back by picking up blood orbs, which they nerf how much the blood orbs heal. Actually, they're, they're taking a close eye on the uh, beta branch. Right oh, here. that's sad. Well, he, he already heals a lot. Like, Eliza has fantastic sustain with Sekhmet now. No, it's just the whole meter use thing. I don't know. <laughs> It's her more viable as an Okay, character. he is he is three levels they, at the end. <laughs> they, ask, they ask you if you'd like to read the patch notes. That, that's the that's all I cared about. <laughs> Just what he uses meter. <laughs> Eliza's level three is very damaging. It's it's an interesting reversal as well. Oh, is it a reversal? You yes. could. I mean, yeah, you can do this reversal. It takes an it takes a good angle. <sighs> Can't remember if he used it as one though. Uh, I want to say he did in last game. <laughs> you can't. Although the way that you don't follow it, man. Hmm. 
Yeah, can anyone in the chat tell us if he, like, used the level 3 at the end of that match as a reversal? <laughs> you can I mean, you can combo into it, of course. It's just It just takes yeah. a different angle. I don't think it OTGs, though. That That's the question. Like, did he combo or did he Ooh. do it on Wake Up or whatever the hell? <laughs> we got Iron Man Robo. We playing Marvel? Hello? Yep. A Wonder Woman? Okay, fun, fun. Uh, now we're playing bum, Injustice. Bum, 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 oh, this bum. is Injustice. What? You're gonna learn. Full You're gonna learn. You're gonna learn. <laughs> you... <laughs> Welcome to the real world. You're gonna learn, and you're gonna learn today. <laughs> it's the real world. You learned it what? early, son. <laughs> <laughs> Robo Fortune, as you can clearly see, has some disgusting zoning potential in this game, but she also oh has one goodness. of the fastest ground dashes, meaning she's a Why threat you, like, at any happen? point she can approach. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh happy, happy birthday! birthday. Let's go! <laughs> snap! Double snap! Let's can go! Zoom, like, do it. This is the Skullgirls content we want to see! <laughs> happy birthday. Happy oh birthday. Oh my god. Really love very well played brave. by Zoomlight. You love to see it. <laughs> oh, show us these combos. Show us these Twitter Annie combos. Of course, drops it. Oh. Did I say something like that? Oh my god. Alright. Throw, reset, destruction pillar. Let's go. Oh. Juice is really showing that he's in here for a bit. He's seeing to level 3. He's gonna make Zoom Light pay after doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Full head wow. air grab pickup. Entry grab. This is scary. This is a very scary position. Grease of another reset. grab! Tager! Oh. Oh, that was. No. Uh, not very safe interesting way to block that. <laughs> okay, we got the Robo Fortune combos going in. Dagger, excellent. Oh, this is not looking good for Zoom Light. <laughs> oh, Mexi Beam. Mexi Beam! beam. <laughs> not a kill yet. And. Uh... Uh, Eliza's uh, crouching heavy kick. What can I say? Is, I'm a witch. A... <laughs> Eliza's crouching heavy kick is renowned for being able to go through projectiles. It's one of the quote unquote better anti-zoning tool it's very good against characters such as peacock since it goes through uh lenny or not lenny george i'm afraid i'm sorry but versus beams not quite the same it's not quite the same yeah not so the same. destabilized one there right destabilized uh yes yes okay. yes yes the, whoever's the playing, playing Annie one. Annie. yeah yeah exactly because i got interrupted Eliza's good against zoners. Eliza does have some strengths against certain zoners. It's as an assist versus zoners, however, I find that she's difficult to pair since one of her assists is great against one character and the other assist is great against another. The thing about Eliza is that her crouching heavy kick actually has projectile armor. Beam still hurt. Yeah, beam still hurt, but it's got the armor. It's got some armor. I feel like Zoomlight would do really well here if you just uh, switch to Philia and just let Philia handle the movement between all those beams. Philia would have an easier time going through beams, but it's not. It's a bit difficult to tell who the other characters gonna have on point, right? When you're just making team, because if they're going to just counter pick teams each time, it's going to be hard to to that. Yeah, for sure. Taking time to set up hedgerows, competent. Oh. Ooh, that Eliza assist was interesting. Tree lockdown. Doesn't set up into anything though. Just misses the hair wasn't spike. Extremely prepared to take advantage of it, but. <laughs> Man, these lasers—they're really giving Zoomlight a hard time. It's hard. It's so hard to approach. Ooh, ooh, that was a very interesting uh, pickup. Oh no! Happy birthday! Double snap? No. No. Oh. No. <laughs> but it did have health, however. So yeah. Either way, Zoomlight's not happy about that. Yeah, uh, Zoomlight's not gonna <laughs> kill. <laughs> That's a uh, lot of ground to make up. If he's gonna make it up at all. Reset uh, with the projectile <laughs> and destabilize, taking it. Long ass match, but man, that was worth it.
Have they gotten rid of yep. Annie's uh, medium punch fireball wink? Have they gotten rid of that? No idea. Okay. Uh, considering they didn't say anything about it, I uh, doubt it. it so... Someone, I think someone found. I think Sonic Fox found that a couple hours after Annie initially dropped, but I haven't seen many people actually try using it in combo. Uh, next up, we are going to be seeing Crown Axe and Clawmaster. Ooh. Ooh. New names or? Uh, Clawmaster we saw earlier. Oh, we saw Clawmaster, yeah. Band. Oh, Crown Axe is the double player. <laughs> oh. Wait, That's wasn't Crown Axe the uh, second place person in uh, two weeks You're ago? You're right, Crown Axe was. Crown Axe was the second I recognize the icon now. That's, oh, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, it was Crown Axe versus Don Hibiki in Grands. Yes, very so... strong player here. This should be fun. This should be fun. Okay. After the uh, last Glizzy, actually, I saw Don Habigi streaming Skullgirls a couple times, labbing Annie some more and playing online. Yeah. Don Habigi very <laughs> strong, but not punctual. <laughs> it's, it can be difficult to make tournaments sometimes. It can be difficult. Yeah. We can't. We cannot. Remember when we had folks. that uh, post tournament interview with uh, Don Habigi? Mm hmm. Nice fella, Don. I don't mean to haze him too hard, but <laughs> he didn't seem too good at talking. He's nice. He's a nice fella. Yeah, uh, he was kind. Yeah, he's when I watched his when I watched his streams, I gave him like chat feedback on sound levels and whatnot. He's definitely passionate about the game, and he knows what he's talking about when you get him the chat. Mm hmm. For sure. I suppose he might have been. Um, a bit nervous. <laughs> I would have loved to see him in this bracket, honestly. I was hoping to see him again, because he did so well. Kranix also did incredible. So we've got here two glue versus the fun set play team. In fact, yeah, all the blue I, characters I am, are in this match. I'm also that we're devastated at. that Don isn't in this one. <laughs> Double Cerebella versus Squiggly Big Band. Ooh, so clawmaster has got a pretty good Squiggly by the looks of things. Ooh! That big band assist was interesting. Reset with now the Crown X has got his double out. <laughs> the double that he's famous for. Classic double bread and butter resets. You love to see it. You love to see it. Double and Cerebella are two characters where you only need to know one combo for him to work. And it works! It works so well! Oh my god! My car is better than and your car. object versus unstoppable Beating force! Up. What? That's a classic what? clash. <laughs> Giant step overhead. Giant step again. Always gotta be wary for it. Car. The car. Diamonds are forever, baby. Sadly, your health bar is. And combo get into out of that. Here. And Climaster Luke has earned his big band. Squiggly's gonna have a hard time here, I think. Big band just helps so much with Climaster's set play. Yeah. Especially when you've got someone like Sarah Bella, who is so obnoxious on the screen, and in fact, showing her stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is... Sarah Bella's oh, got crazy it's, damage. It's, it's difficult to... Reach on that, uh, gun, gun fist. It is incredibly difficult to set up your own game plan when Sarah Bella is on screen, because she is just a toddler in the playroom. She will break your building blocks. <laughs> she sees you are building a sandcastle and says, I'm going to eat your sandcastle. <laughs> yeah, she's going to take that big head of hers and slap your sandcastle. <laughs> slap it. She's not even trying to be a bully. <laughs> abusive, abusive character. Love to see that damage. You can, when you look at Sarah Bella, you know, oh, the people working on this were grappler players. Mike yeah, Z, no. <laughs> Mike Z, I'm sorry to say his name, to bring him up. He did love heavies. That's why Sarah Bella and Big Band are just so good in this game. Spin to win, excellent assist. Uh, are we talking Sweet about set, drops. the MZ? <laughs> he, anyway. he, loves, he loves big bodies, but new match here. Burst, keyed off of me. Wow. Ooh, excellent punish. Ooh, this squiggly's going in. Didn't pick up off of the yeah. launcher, though. I, I wonder what that was about. Ooh, that big man assist. We got another full squiggly combo here. Drops oh. a reset. He dropped it. <laughs> and he's just going to fucking... Damage. 
take as much health off of the assist as possible. Hey, free right, twenty-five. Sing. Free twenty-five percent is good. A free another twenty-five sing. percent is always worth it. Oh. And another full squiggly combo, and that's gonna kill double. All right, charging the charge in. Charging silver cord, I want to say. Oh my god! Level three reversal though, right. that'll kill. That's death. You're just such a monkey with that diamond. Sarah Bella versus Big Band. Fat Anchor versus Remember heavy when anchor. Crown X, uh, like, did that happy birthday diamond? And that, like, flipped an entire, uh, round? Listen, Diamonds Are Forever is a fucked up super. <laughs> yep. Up su these Look are fucked up damage. characters. Massive damage. Both these characters just do so much and they get the opportunity. Yeah. Yep. They're considered glue Both of these are heavy hitting. Did Claw try to parry the knuckle? Oh, uh, sometimes overconfidence is a very immediate killer. Using the Ooh. armor on Lock and Load to go into super, and this lock is and gonna load kill. Is Diamond Dynamo. One of the best supers for a reason. Yeah, looking like if Clawmaster can't fight the Cerebella, Clawmaster might be getting sent to losers. Oh, God. That's, that's Wait, is the set that's over already? No. I thought yeah. we only had two games. Oh, well, yeah, it has been two, but we're one way from Clawmaster going to losers, potentially. I, I was, I was unless saying Clawmaster that, adapts. I'm saying that because unless Clawmaster learns. You're so confident that you just make the prediction right now. <laughs> I'm not saying unless. I'm saying there's a chance. I'm not predicting anything. Oh, you don't have channel points on Twitch yet, do you? No, I'm not a Twitch player. I was about, I was about to say we could do uh, predictions for grand finals. That'd be fun. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, that's something Glizzy could try doing instead of just making everyone donate ludicrous amounts of water for Jacob. Speaking oh of ludicrous God. amounts, this might be some insane damage if Clawmaster gets the reset, which they Ooh, do. That was a wild drop, reset. Though. Sing. Although that wasn't nearly close enough. Get oh my charge. goodness. This Swaps double. Position. Uh, All right. Clown Master got the squiggly combos. <laughs> and the Armored big band assist. Big band. Just band. comes Ow. in and punches that double in the face. Oh. What? <laughs> Both With supers just out of range. Great a mutual punch waste there. of meter. <laughs> excellent, excellent footsies. Reset as oh well as the overhead. Clawmaster with these resets. It looks like Crown Axe isn't gonna send Clawmaster to the to losers so quickly. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Yeah. That was a jank interaction. Clawmaster, it looks like Clawmaster was really um... dominant. Clawmaster was uh, respecting the space that they have between each other. One, one million percent playing footsies in Skullgirls of all games. Squiggly has excellent range on so many of her normals. That's one of the weaknesses that Sarah Bella has is that while she's got nice heavy normals, uh, she mostly has her range in things like her supers and uh, I would say like Diamonds It's Forever, things like that. Squiggly's things like Jumping Heavy Punch just... It's, it's hard to get in on that, combined with assists from Big Band as well. Yep. Yeah, jumping Heavy Kick from Squiggly just takes up so much space. Oh, is it Heavy Kick the, like, Dragon Arm? I thought it was Heavy Punch. Actually, yeah, it is Punch. I got messed up. Okay. Okay. It's, every character has six buttons. At least six different buttons. It's hard. It's hard to know which one is. Yep. <laughs> Sing? Nice. Excellent. Excellent pickup with Silver. Oh my goodness, so many assists on screen. It looks like a Smash Bros. game. <laughs> wow, great pickup there. Oh, happy birthday! This might be a happy birthday. We got meter for it. Ooh, that! Ooh, that was that! Oh, oh just, just far enough. Well, I couldn't, enough. couldn't keep it up. Oh well. Punishing the lock and load. Oh. Oh my goodness. Claw Are Master. we about to see a reverse 3 0? Clawmaster not allowing Clawmaster is just. To play at all. You know, 
I, I hate to give commentators curse, but sometimes you get downloaded. I yeah. feel like Clawmaster is figuring out this matchup a little bit and but keeps seeing how Crown X plays. Sarabella has so much damage that oh, there is but no now such Crown thing. Is about to... Sarabella doesn't care. You Crown X has a chance to do it. Oh my god! Cross up Timpani Drive. 2-2. Two, two. <gasps> Entrance Tiffany Drive! My goodness. It, pr it probably would have killed with Chip anyway. Like, it's yep. a strong, powerful option there. That was almost a checkmate situation, I would <laughs> say. That was incredible. That's the one. <laughs> My goodness. Clawmaster has adapted. Yeah. And now we're looking at a of game five. Has Crown X been downloaded? Has it happened? Have you been brain drained this bracket? <laughs> has Clawmaster stolen your crown and axed your head? <laughs> I'll give points for that one. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> you got a fun now. Marvel. <laughs> Is this from Soul Girls Mobile? I was about to say, it reminds me of Marvel 2. Yep, from Soul Girls Mobile. I never even played Soul Girls Mobile. It's fun. Wait, it looks like Clawmaster might have been, which distracted at round start and picked up like this. Pushing the corner as well. <laughs> he was distracted by this background, just like we were. <laughs> Difficult to get distracted in oh, 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 what was going Everyone's there? Everyone's getting hit. <laughs> Everyone's getting hit. Everyone gets a little bit yeah, of damage. Yeah, the dive kick there. It was looking sides. like a happy birthday, but then suddenly double super? Yeah. That didn't hit? Reset. Reset. Overhead. 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 Why are you blocking low? <laughs> Why are you blocking low? Forward Stop. heavy punch is a mean ass move. Oh. Well, that was up. wild. <laughs> Man, squiggly seeing mechanics are a little hard to keep. Oh, oh no, oh no, 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 no. What are you doing, Powerful man? <laughs> Just not pressing burst. Very smart of him not to uh, uh, burst there. Very smart. Excellent. Okay, we got a. Ooh, Tiffany Drive. Is that going to kill? Yeah, that kills. Very nice. Ooh, diamond drop. That was a very spontaneous one, too. Punishing giant step as well. You love to see it. You love to see justice on giant step. Throw into the corner. Change, change places. Musical chairs. <laughs> Musical chairs. That's good. Look at that combo counter. You love to see big bands multi-hit everything. Big number go up. DHC oh. to keep Crown X. And that was only half oh, so. a life bar. <laughs> and Clawmaster makes all of that with seven hits. <laughs> yes, of course. You gotta love Serbo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we not gonna see a reverse 3 out? <gasps> or are we? Pick up, pick up. Or are Giant we? Giant step. No, no meter, though. <gasps> oh. Oh my goodness, to get just anything. trying to make space here. Oh, the footsies! Oh. Both of these players are so afraid, and... Armor oh. through. Good. No reverse 3-0. To Crown X. So Crown X is Crown not X getting frauded. Crown X it out at the last little second. No frauds. No frauds. Man. Those swear. footsies at the end, though, like, you could tell both of these players were shitting their pants. <laughs> Intense, intense. Both Big players is... were so scared to lose that game. Big Band definitely has a bit more range at that point. It was so close. Of the air moves, but the, being able to use armor like that on so many of Cerebello's specials makes it difficult to get to get in on. You could feel their buttholes clench. <laughs> Does Big Band even have one? No. Yeah, he's like a, he's got like a tu he's got like a tuba and a and a. What you call it? What's, oh my god, I'm forgetting the other instruments. A trumpet? Clarinet. No. He's got clumpets. Uh, he's got clumpets. Bagpipe! There we go. He's got like a bagpipe down there. Yeah, that's his taunt. Next up, we are going to be seeing Destabilized again, alongside Empathy, who we've not seen play yet. We did we have not seen Empathy on stream, no. <laughs> Do we know who Empathy is? Have we seen them last tournament? Nope. First uh first time we're seeing Empathy. Yeah, I don't remember seeing Empathy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Crown X has to get out of here. Crown X, get on out of here. Come on. We love, we love you, but you can't stay here right now. Get on. Get. Get. There we go. You I have been dethroned. <laughs> I, I miss him already. You kept your throne, but you've been dethroned. 
<laughs> Fun stuff to watch. Karnas. He says I my bad. In I want to see Twitch him. <laughs> I want to see him get out of losers. I want him to make it to grands. Yeah. Empathy seventeen eighty four. That's like during the uh, Revolutionary War. I'm pretty sure. Uh yeah, but well, maybe a little bit after. But yeah. you know, it's it's around. A people were <laughs> people were still talking about it. Let me look up 1784 real fast. It's, yeah, give us some notable birthdays from 1784. <sighs> Speaking of notable birthdays. Okay, 1784 was a leap year starting on Thursday of the Gregorian calendar. And Please don't read the entire Wikipedia. Thursday in 1784! No way. There was the Treaty Solo of Constantinople. Solo Beowulf! Empathy, my man! I, this is what I love to Solo see. Beowulf? What the okay, fuck never, is going okay. Are you nuts? Okay. <laughs> Herding pickup! Oh! 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 You love to see it! Okay, so Empathy is like... <laughs> Beowulf is definitely a character who gets a lot stronger with assists, but a solo Beowulf just feels like a boss fight, I think. He does so much damage, yeah. he's got such excellent <laughs> mix-up. Sure. He's got bionic arm! Oh, Speak of the devil! Oh, that invincibility! <laughs> oh, and his chair back just... misses it, spinning height! Yep, there's jumping heavy punch just showing itself. He needs it. He needs it. He needs it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my Eating goodness. the arm the with any assist. Chairless Heavy Punch is extremely unsafe on block, and with no meter or assist to make it safe, that's one of the pitfalls of Solo Beowulf, one of his largest weaknesses. While he may have oh, incredible yeah. damage, it's just... It's hard to stay safe. He's a risky character. Uh, double B? You can't do and anything checkmate. about it. Checkmate scenario there right was, there. He can't arm through it. There was nothing Beowulf could have done there. <laughs> once that, once the super flash hits, you're stuck there. It is difficult to defend. <laughs> Abe not letting any solo players through. We're playing Skullgirls, okay. not Hundreds any other fighting game. Listen, listen. Solo, double solo Skullgirls is essentially VSAV. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. <laughs> it's VSAV, but with crazier combos. It's VSAV with oh, actual yeah, combos. Like... This is the people's champion. Not the tag team champion. The people's champion. Ooh, cross up Wolf Cannon. Oh my goodness. Drops it though. Hurting Hurl doesn't get anything. Push blocks it. Punches an arm. Oh, no combo afterwards though. Too too close to the wall. Structure oh, pillar getting along. And that's a combo. Oh, oh and break. the burst bait. Oh my goodness. He might have been trying to option select throw there. Oh yeah, that's also possible. Side mix. The cross up re uh, reset, not reversal. Another, <laughs> another reset. This is this is the bane of solo players. It's gonna happen. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Abe just shit. Everybody up. just has no assists. This is this is still scary. What, what is he doing? This solo like Beowulf is still scary here because of arm. Like okay, that. Python. Um. Oh, more beams, more beams, more beams, more oh, beams. Yeah. Not have, did not have enough missiles. armor. Doesn't actually get some to follow up, but... And... Oh. oh. Taking game two. That time, that was from Napalm. <laughs> Robo Fortune is easily one of, if not the hardest matchup for Beowulf. Characters like Peacock and who are... Uh, Par Ticker. Parasol, who have solid zoning tools, you know. He, he has a difficult time in, but Rebel Fortune specifically, that beam just destroys any kind of armor he has to get in. It is difficult, to say the least. Apparently, cholesterol was isolated in 1784. What the fuck are you doing, man? Where are you still reading 1784? I'm looking up 1784. <laughs> oh. Getting the. Okay. Dude, this is, a, this is scary. Empathy, that, that's scary. He drops it. He tends so. to be pretty good at getting good starts, but 
then he falls apart, like right here. <laughs> it's it's difficult to steal back momentum as a solo character. Yeah, for sure. Especially if you're Beowulf and you don't really have a reliable like reversal option that isn't metered. No, you'll notice that two pretty whatever combos have almost killed Parasol here. Yep, that's the big thing about solo characters, they got damage he, for days. Empathy is, was definitely using some, um, I want to say, less optimal b and since he's going for uh, not the chair combo when he had chair on, so he could have potentially killed if he was just Ooh, a little bit shot? tighter. Sniper shot resetting. Burst burst bait. Bait. Burst bait? <laughs> Parasol is the queen of burst those. baits with these huge disjointed normals. Yeah, he's been burst bait at least once every single game so far. Napalm. Oh, super, and oh, he's going for the swag. Uh, Just flexing. Bat. Just flexing. Yep, seeing the... Seeing the <laughs> he three. might kill Veilwolf a little too soon there. Oh, oh my god! To get the swag. He, like... Drops a combo and then empathy immediately sends him out. Oh, that, that must have been a missed input. He must have gone oh, for a bionic arm there. <laughs> Just whiffing grabs. Has to get in. Oh, picks up though. This is bad for Annie. Soon. <laughs> Actually, gets that. out. That's incredible. No oh, magnets. Python Fuck you. Magnet grabs. Python is a good oh. super. Oh, just a really bean. That That's all really it took. Wanted that good. What is that? Three? Is that three? That is three. Unfortunately. Yep. That was a three zero. Empathy. 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 I was happy to see a solo Beowulf. The fucking king of solo Beowulf. You really want I'm... to see it. I'm a fan of solo Beowulf simply because there's no other character I think is as fun as Beowulf when I'm playing Skullgirls, but I, he's weak. he's got weaknesses. It's hard. Those matchups are hard. Beams are hard to get in on. Yeah. Yep. Beams beat wolves. Who would have thought? Crownax is raring to go. Who's Crownax even against? Kirkhammer? Yes. Okay. There's Crownax no OS in Skuggers. Did you, did, you, Fernanda. did you? Did you? Did you? Fernanda doesn't play Skullgirls. I, I can tell you, Fernanda doesn't play Skullgirls. Uh, it's is there an OS? Yes. I mean, you can op you can option select throw, but when you're in combo, but if you they set you up an IPS, you immediately get burst baited. That's the one of the option selects. Then, of course, there's like push block shenanigans as well. Does Kirkhammer have Dante with uh, Gay Heart on his cheek for his icon? I like that. Skullgirls <laughs> doesn't even cute. have double half circle super. Fernanda's a troll in chat. <laughs> she, 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 she just wants to play. She just wants to see KOF on Glizzy. That's what Fernanda wants. She wants to see like KOF 2003. Hey, uh, they used to play Glizzy. They used to play KOF here. Really, 2002 or just? Are you talking about in your area? No, not Glizzy. No, in Glizzy. Oh really? Yeah. Well, hey, maybe if 15's got spectator lobby, we could see it again. I'm assuming the yeah, rollback maybe. will actually be good. Speaking of good, this damage is excellent right now. Oh Careful yeah. Just not getting a chance to play. Max, you love to see him. Incredible. Kirk Hammer has a new face. I don't Solid think we defense. saw him no, uh, we two did. weeks ago. Oh. We did? No. Yeah. New, new this week, but I we've seen a monster mark. Kerpair has got some excellent defense here. Not quite getting a happy birthday, though. Almost had the potential for it. Mmm. Sweeped up. Knocked down. Take this damage. I'm playing glue. You're falling apart. Glue! Watch out for that double. Her camera has a lot of ground to make up, but he looks like he's down to make it. Yeah. Doesn't get that uh, reset, so Google's now we're back to put these. got some good supers and sitting on four meter right now. She's definitely okay. has some good supers. Kranax has no pressure. Ooh! Okay. Out. Kranax drops his pressure, gives Kirk camera a, a cute little combo. 
But oh, then, that, that but then Kamex that. brings in Cerebella, and now he's getting big damage on Kirk Hammer. Might kill, uh, does kill. Wow. Kamex <laughs> taking game one of three. Gorilla grip damage. <laughs> the, <laughs> genuine, <laughs> the most genuine gorilla grip. It is impactful. Cerebella eats through health like sandcastles, apparently. Of course, Kirk Hammer oh did have some God. solid defense there. Gen I think Kirk Hammer had some excellent defense yeah, in the corner earlier. This is not going to be uh, a dominant, like a dominant set, I want to say. I think Kirk Hammer is. Slap Very that powerful. sand right into your face. <laughs> just, just bully. Just bully. Just That's bully. what Cerebella is for. Cerebella is a bully. Got Celia back here at train stage. Let's go. Okay, I know I said Kirk Hammer had great defense, but, but you don't need to test them. You don't need to test them, alright? It's okay. Goes for the overhead mix. Punished for it. Rebel Fortune loses all that red health. This is, this is oh, a bad yeah. position. Kirk Hammer basically had an entire health bar of red health there. Armor to the beam. Wow. Although, Kirk Hammer seems to have a pretty good Fukua, so maybe, maybe he'll be able to make it nice. If they're going to be your anchor, oh, of course. No! Doesn't but matter who good you are. Full 360 grab. DHC, double damage. Oh, Drops it, though! <laughs> Kirk Hammer playing super carefully. Ooh, spins meter on the super instead of going for a snap. Caught nice out the air by double. Anti air uh, thing. Strange, double meter spin. strange, strange use of super there. Yeah. Just <laughs> barely dodges the double super. I think that's the first time I've ever seen double's car miss. <laughs> Oh no, her camera is a chip away from the uh... Terrifying neutral right Especially now. Especially with Ceracopter as an assist, and literally any blocked hit will kill. Yeah. Her camera's gotta play, like, too currently right now. Catches him though! Oh, but oh. doesn't do a double snap combo, instantly going for the grab. Oh my goodness, her camera, what are you doing? Using the How super to stay doing? above car and punishing. Oh my goodness! One hit. Oh, tech, but doesn't drops it drops the combo and left for oh. chip damage. Why? 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 Couldn't Chipped up by Knuckle. Sometimes, oh. Dude, sometimes you just can't get it. Kirk Hammer went so long on a sliver of health there. Man, like, I'm gonna oh. be honest. I hate chip kills in this game. They ruin it's, shit oh, so much. That was yeah. so close. <laughs> Why couldn't Sarah, this be like DC? If you if oh, we're gonna be like DBFZ and SF5, the most popular games right now, renowned for their lack of chip kills. Okay, so my roommate just told me I'm being loud, so <laughs> I need to quiet down. That's what Skullgirls does. Skullgirls is hype. This game brings the hype. <laughs> Trying to go for mixes here. Parasol has multiple low and overhead mixes just in her BNB &B grounded. Such as that nice pistol whip overhead there. Cop with Cerebella assist. Drops okay. a double BNB &B though. Ooh! Motorcycle in the the Rebel Fortune. Reset in neutral. Into car. DHC's car into that was, the, that was a really wacky DHC. What in the world? <laughs> Crownax wanted to wanted to save him. He didn't want to risk punishes. Rock and roll the knock out of it. Reset. Doesn't pick up off the throw though. Tick right, throws right, off lock and load? And that's a kill. Catches Fukua as she comes it, in. Uh, starts the combo on the uh, entry. Okay. Nice get off me, trying to reset neutral here. Just spending meter here for small punishes. That's gonna be blocked. 
and pushed back for some reason. Push block oh reduces shift. Oh my goodness. Command dash. Doesn't push block reduce shift? I think it does slightly. Yeah, so it's all, so you would definitely want to push block there. Huh. Managing, right. to, managing to get some revenge for that last match right there. I, just, I feel like push blocking a super like uh, diamonds are forever. Um, doesn't it extend your uh, uh, block stun frames? Um, I think it would extend it a little bit potentially, but we're still able to punish. So, speaking of punish, catching with the mm. car right there. He's grabbing Parasol as she comes in. This is dangerous. The resets are very real here, but drops. And is the out poke though? Uh, okay. Oh, that's, that's, that's oh, Kranax does damage. This is, this damage. is death, yeah, damage. That's probably gonna kill. That's gonna kill. And Kranax kills game three. <laughs> three. Oh. Kirk Hammer is double as a monster. Like we knew already, but. Kronax better not leave that one. is a monster, monster. <laughs> oh, Kronax gets destabilized in semifinals. Are we going to show a uh, loser's bracket as well? or? Uh, no. Uh, really uh, really after, after this match, anymore? after this match, we'll watch the ones and losers. Okay, about to say. Yeah. So. Kirkhammer played so well. Yep, but Kirkhammer isn't Something. out yet. Kirkhammer dropped a couple combos that made it difficult to come back. Had a couple strange decisions, yeah. I want to say, but all in all, still played very solidly. Honestly, I expect Kirk to, like, climb through the gauntlet. The thing is, is that down there in Losers, we've got uh, Kirk is either going to go against Drake or T-Zoonlight. Both extremely strong players. And then, of uh, course, yeah. of course, we've That's got Clawmaster sure. down in the losers as well, who we just saw on stream was a little bit scary. So Still, we saw Kirk play pretty well against Crown X, uh, even though it was a 3-0. <laughs> but while I have time, I have to remind you guys about the Matcherino. Uh, we've got $39.35. If you use the coupon code in the message, you can add another $0.25 cents to that pot. It'll be pretty nice. Uh, I... I'm very happy at the number we got, but it could get even higher. We've still got a lot of matches ahead of us, so with uh, we've got another match on hand. Remember, folks, Matcherino, Matcherino, Matcherino is free. Matcherino is free. Yep, I believe. Have we seen this matchup before? Uh, I no, we haven't, because th this is. I think we've at least seen uh, this matchup in uh, week one. Maybe. This is just week two, isn't it? Yeah, Parasol and Double Start does look familiar. <laughs> okay. Nice move to here, locked down. Ooh, grabs. All right. Just testing each other here. Yeah. We got real these. Fishing for something here. Using the assist to help keep down and reset your own this pressure. Real street fighter. <laughs> this is real Street Fighter. Okay. Now Deuces has the combo. Drops it, hello. Now Deuces drops the combo. <laughs> no. Get Deuces oh, get the combo back. Oh, and the car beats the uh, Napalm Pillar. Tries. Does Na can Napalm Pillar punish car even? I don't think it can. I mean, it has iframes. <laughs> Ooh, maybe that's what they were going for. Something that's a good before. question. Happy birthday? No, push block. Okay. No, no, was, happy birthday. But a dead parasol. Trading parasols is fine here. Rebel Fortune versus Cerebella. Uh, an interesting match. Wait a minute. It's like the what? beam? What? Let's talk about the Robo Fortune skin here for a second. Is that Master Chief? Uh, yeah, DC is like trying to finish the fight. Going blanky mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Dodging great. the tag out, but not punishing it. That's very unfortunate. And getting happy Ooh, birthday the happy for birthday. it. Oh, that cannot okay. feel good. What day is okay. today? Oh, never mind. We're back Come to pussies. Or more like... Assisties. Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> no, it's not footsies because fucking Crown X used the car, which is minus. It's, it's fair. It's a it's a fair suit, you know. That's damage. Beam move. No. Yep, yep. Beam is just a great way to burn the meter. Spartan laser. 
That is why it's right. Diamond drop. Oh. Ooh. It's looking close. That was a satisfying kill. Good and the air, air grab wow. entry. In. Oh, Ooh, another diamond drop. Another. Diamond dynamo. Throwing All this corner, meter. Though. All this meter. Okay. So now we're back to footsies. Oh wow. no! The super armor! Granax <laughs> gonna take just, it. Just Cerebella things. I have to remind you guys that <laughs> Just this Cerebella finals. frames. <laughs> this is winter finals, isn't it? Yep. After this, you're gonna have to check out Loser's Breath. Oh, is it Loser's Finals? Winner's this is finals. Winner's Finals. Winner's Finals. Winner's Finals, okay. We've got we've got like thirty ish minutes before we get to losers finals at this point at this rate. No, maybe yeah. not thirty, maybe like fifteen. These matches are going pretty quickly. Losers is yeah, there's a lot of three O's. A lot of three O's. Genuinely, Skullgirl Skullgirl is one of those games where perfects are not uncommon. Sometimes you just get caught in the mix. Sometimes it's not your day. Sometimes you expect the perfect to happen, you say it as a commentator, and then it you lose it immediately afterwards. Ah, <laughs> oh, tries to do cross under and just misses it. Remember just week one where that happened like three times? It doesn't matter. Let's get into the match. Catching, the, catching that air fur was excellent as well. Lockdown of Sarah Copter. Classic double B&Bs. Yep. The burst? Back to footsies. And Deuces loses his parasol. Setting up mid traps. Entry double super. Oh. Deuces is balls deep in the corner right now. Oh, he gets out of corner. Deuces is gonna try to see the rest of this stage. Where's your ride? Crown X's double is a monster. <laughs> like we keep saying. Oh, the burst. Out. And the car. Oh, oh no! We should have pushed back that. Yeah, I, I think what happened there is that did a push block, tried to do another one, but it actually came out with a button because it wasn't getting hit. That might be yeah, good. that's that's probable. <laughs> do you stay in block stone technically when you're in push block? I'm not sure. That's something I'll uh, have to test after, after, you, after you push block, you enter a state where you're automatically blocking whatever comes up next, so you can't get mixed. So you're still in oh. block stun, yeah. Good so first bait. Excellent first bait. Take your grab. Trying to reset. Whiffs! Advanced combos. Yeah. Invulnerable. Yep. Whiffs it there, but again, that's on purpose. Grab Throwing reset one more time. Okay, so this is the point of Kirk Hammer, where Actually, he's on a sliver of health. Yeah, Not like Peter so that he has not convinced that there is that chance that he'll win. Because he's just... oh, And Crown X, once again, just won't let that happen. <laughs> if you like a player, just don't talk about him, Reese. Just don't mention him. Don't, don't <laughs> say who you want to win, Reese. So, anyways... RoboFortune actually threw Cerebella out of the corner there, and in most circumstances, people will go like, why would you do that? But because of RoboFortune's great uh, long-range game, I that was definitely intentional. You do not want, you don't care for the corner. You want the whole screen is the thing with RoboFortune. You oh, you know, Dex, I have a point. You want to zone. You want to keep If I'm so screen. susceptible to commentator's curse, then I might as well just not talk about the player I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> You weaponize it. Use it to your advantage. <laughs> okay, I'll just talk about Grand Axe this game. Uh, he's getting beaten the fuck up by Parasol right now. <laughs> the instant you see that, he drops it, too. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. He's setting neutral here. Taking up the... Ah, uh, misses the reset. And I stop the combo. Burst. See if he gets the burst. Gets the Lugers. Doesn't the block the car. Oh, that's damage. Oh. And if... More no. than half health taken with that DHC. <laughs> Using the grab what as a the reversal. Hell? Oh my goodness. What did we just witness? Just reversals on reversals on reversals. Insane. Wacky. Oh, is this um, Luke Skywalker in? No, it's Leo from Leo, Mare. 
Rio Foshio here. Oh, I see. <laughs> Annie actually has a Star Wars color, but it's a Shoka Tano. Yep, from Clone Wars. Yeah, which is fun. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it and I thought it was a Steven Universe color, and I was so happy it wasn't. <laughs> There's already a Stevani color and a Lapis color, that's enough. But, speaking of Crown enough, Crownax saying, I'm going to Grand Finals. Yep. Ooh. And this time, Don Hibiki won't be there. Crownax wants to win. Crownax wants to uh, rewrite history, right? <laughs> Crownax said, all right, you got me first, Glizzy. Now I know this is the real tournament. Now I know that I got to prepare for these killers. Yeah, Crownax is having a spaghetti contest without Italy. <laughs> Speaking of uh, spaghetti, uh, if you type exclamation point Matcherino in chat, we're almost at fifty dollars now. Ooh, yep, forty nine thirty five. Uh, I want to give some shout outs to uh, Jacob for the twenty bucks, uh, fellow commentator Dak for the ten twenty five, and Welcome. Del Lost for the ten. And me for the twenty five cents. And you, and everyone in chat who's donating. Remember, Matrino is completely free, and it does add up. Most of these donations are going to be small amounts. Uh, yep. Doesn't seem like Birdbaster and Clawmaster and remember, are done yet. If you're like me and you don't know how to use Matrino, all you got to do is sign in, uh, select one of the accounts that it says you can sign in with, Discord or Twitch, probably, um, and then it'll take you... If you hit Contribute after signing in, It'll take you to this uh, dialogue page where it asks for a coupon code. You just uh, paste in that coupon code you see Nightbot uh, put there, and then you hit submit, and you'll donate 25 cents into the pot. No one knows where it comes from, but it's there. <laughs> yeah. you know, I was I actually had a hard time sleeping last night because I was wondering, where does Matrino get all this money? What are they doing? <laughs> And then, you know, sometimes you just can't look a gift horse in the mouth. It's probably like Jay Wong's foundation or something. Sunlight versus Kirkhammer is going to be showing up again. Kirkhammer seemed fairly popular in chat. I saw some people rooting for him. Excited to see them go up. Maybe, maybe Maturino does stocks and <laughs> donations. What the fuck? Code. What is solo pain? What is Sunlight doing? Hold on. Sunlight. Is this a button check or is this real? No, this is real. No. This is real. Uh, did, they're button did checking. Zoolite they're button checking. Button. They are button checking. Also, oh, yeah. This is not. Okay. Um. Oh, <laughs> damn it. I wanted to see that. Uh, me too. No, me too. Dude, I also would have loved this. I can't. I can't. Oh, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Solo pain wheel would have been the most big Solo brain. Pain wheel. Like, what is this? Hello? <laughs> Let's see if hello? Oh my god, I was ready for it. <laughs> I, well, no one's saying anything in chat, so. Imagine. Imagine. Wait, did they say anything in tournament? Yeah, they were saying, hey, we're doing a button check. Oh, oh yeah, okay. That's disappointing. Oh, I wanted to see Solo Pain Wheel. <laughs> Solo Pain Wheel. That would have been so fun. True pain and suffering. <laughs> Target confirmed. Break a leg out there. Showtime! Oh yeah, Zoomlight was one of those players you were mentioning when uh, we talked about whether or not Kirkhammer would be able to run the gauntlet. Sunlight's got some scary setups. Pain Wheel is very powerful. The real test yep, here is Kirkhammer sure. knows the matchup. And it seems like Kirkhammer knows how to block. But it's still getting caught by these nice lows. Yeah, Grits gives him space. Yeah, interesting you were saying that, right? As uh, <laughs> Kirkhammer was deep into pressure. Listen. Oh, double snap? Oh, not quite. Not quite. Oh, if only. Oh, what's this Robo Fortune skin? It looks familiar. Uh, that's Aegis. Aegis for Persona 3. Not Aegis. Not a real word. They had to use a, a fake one. Uh, chat says Overlay hasn't been updated yet. Uh, I know. It yeah, I'm, I'm getting it's to it. it. It takes a minute. Alright. 
both players are down a character. Uh, Kurt Cameron's uh, Robo Fortune is like half a fourth health. <laughs> And it looks like, uh, Zoomlight is... No, it looks like Kirk Hammer is... Oh! I was gonna say he was playing the neutral game, but no. That's a dead fortune. <laughs> Time for Kirk Hammer's Fiku to show up again. I, I was saying that. Oh, Kirk hold on, now. And drops. Oh, oh, uh, no Unfortunately, snap, those hitboxes just ruining the combo there. No <laughs> Eliza's a very big lady. She's got a very tall, wide hitbox. Ooh, and Zoomlight with the air throw. Oh. And the, the third relationship. Yeah. No double snap. Ooh, entry nice. grab. A wacky grab setup. Okay. Both characters here have excellent tools to play this kind Ooh. of neutral. Both players are afraid to lose this game. Chip and damage. chip damage takes it. Kirk Hammer staying in. <laughs> Kirk Hammer didn't win chip damage, did <laughs> I'm I'm kidding. Kirk played great there. It's close enough. <laughs> close enough. Nah, it's only justice. <laughs> it's because Kirk Hammer lost that uh, game to Crown Axe with chip damage. Everyone gets one. Everyone gets one. Everyone gets one. <laughs> it's fair. Everyone gets one. Everyone deserves to be chipped at least once in their life. <laughs> Don't, just don't don't abuse the chip. You'll be fine. Don't give in to the darkness like some commentators here have. <laughs> Ooh, air throw opening. Excellent, excellent air throw. Uh, parasol bread and butter to open it. Beautiful reset there of the throw as well. That's what we were talking about earlier with option select burst bait air throw. Ooh, overhead! Ooh. What was that? Was that a stagger overhead? It's, it's one of her chargeable uh, yes, armor that moves. Is. Yes. Heavy punch. Wild. It's scary. It's scary. Pain roll getting grabbed out. Fuqua's got range on that assist. What do you guys think is the least played character in Schoolgirls? Valentine. I think it's Pain Valentine or Pain Wheel are up there as some of the least played ones. Valentine? Yeah. At every skill level here. Yeah. No, no one plays Valentine. Valentine. She's she's too much of a liability. She takes a lot of effort to build around she, and yeah. she feels her payoff like, as other characters. Yeah. yeah I up there. Like, it's, why it's build like around the... her when you can just do Sarah Big Bang? I thought uh, Valentine was a little more popular than that. No. Interesting. Clawmaster is dreaming. That's my character. Well, Honestly, well, disagree, saying that Val is played a fair amount at top level because of players like Cloud King. Oh yeah, but I, 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 I feel like compared to a lot of other characters, just not as popular. But Pain Wheel's definitely up there. Speaking Robo of Fortune, uh, up there, Robo Fortune getting sent to heaven. <laughs> oh, missing PhD. Oh, an undizzy. Overhead though. Oh my goodness. Oh, and where drive taking Zoomlight wanted two. to make that a show. That is 1 1. Zoomlight trying to show us every move that Pinwheel has because we're not going to know him otherwise. <laughs> we're just not gonna know. Hey, I, I, have to, I have to respect it. I do too. I, I love Pinwheel. She's one of those, she's one of the three characters in this game where, uh, I would love to play them, but it's just doing too much in mid combo. Like the fly unfly is too much. Stance cancels for squiggly feels like too much. I don't even like negative edge, negative edging for uh, Fukua clones. It's I'm stupid. I play Beowulf. You are also an Anji <laughs> main, so that doesn't. You are. Me. You, you exactly you are exactly. <laughs> you know me. Little monkey. I'm a little monkey. I was playing like a Street Fighter before this, and I was playing Sagat. I like, <laughs> like, what do you expect? No, he's a tiger. Anyway, tiger. Pain wheel coming in with the claws. What? Parasol instantly coming out, throwing her into the corner. Ooh, the okay. Excellent damage. Big parasol damage. Big super. He, he this oh, this <laughs> A very quick life for uh, Kirk Hammer. Gotta watch for Edra? this. Oh, oh, oh. 
That Philia super. This Philia damage. These nice mixes, these resets. Beautiful. Man, it's like they just took Kirk the Hammer comes in swinging! That oh, heavy turn. kick is rude. Drops it! Oh, it, it hurts to watch. Happy Health Bar, happy birthday. Ryu and Ken in the stands here. And oh, right as I say, late first. Really smart. <laughs> Big poop pushing him in. Zinlight got the. Oh, Whoa! Wait! No. Will this kill? No. Oh. We almost had a heavy oh, I, I, I think there, Philia's body actually got in the way of Parasol's dash. And wasn't able to confirm off it, but we'll takes right uh, takes it 2-1 so far. Kirk just has to do one more match to win. Yep. <laughs> Looks like Kirkmaster really is running the gauntlet. Who's Kirkmaster? Uh, Kirk, sorry, Kirk Hammer. Good one, friend. <laughs> Look, see. Hammer looks like Master. No, it's not. Like, what? My mind immediately goes Master when I read Hammer. Hammer is the master of Monster Hunter weapons, so it's fine. It makes sense. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone good to go? I gotta love all the animated characters in the background for this stage. Oh, it's a very like, nice stage. Like, moving, chatting, that sort of thing. It's a very busy stage. A lot of people just hanging out in this neighborhood. Yeah, for sure. Super not picking up as much as I'm like... Yeah, everybody's just hanging out. No one bats an eye when fucking the pain wheel pulls an entire, like, fan and spider-ass legs out of her joints. Heavy <laughs> free fly. Like, I feel like it would be such a good addition if, like, there were screams every time, like, uh, Pain Wheel do the super. <laughs> Even if she did her normals, I mean, she breaks her limbs for a lot of these. Yeah, it's very... Yeah, I think that would make things a little bit more. <laughs> Big damage here. Level 3 beam. Oh! Now it's level 1. E B to DHC e combo? E yeah. No. Set up. Didn't get to confirm off it though. Okay. She, doesn't break, she doesn't break her limbs, she's double jointed. Ooh. Double jointed doesn't mean you can bend your leg back at 90 degrees. Or bend your leg forward at 90 degrees. What? To make a spike fling out of your skin. Yeah, she comes with like a compound fracture that makes this the spike come out. She's, Boy, she's no one is double jointed. That's that's like a mega jointed. That's quadruple jointed or she's, something. She's not double jointed. She's pain wheel jointed. She sucks tuple jointed. It's all. She's oh, uh, getting away uh, from the assist. Reset. Oh, Fifteen frames. She's the equivalent of Strugified from uh, Quake. <laughs> she who mauls. Are we gonna see Sekhmet stay out, or is gonna return to Eliza? Yeah. Return to Eliza. I want to keep that health going. Air throw kicks up. All right. Zoomlight really wants to go to game five. Zoomlight does. Zoomlight wants to make it. Yep. Oh, the Lady of Slaughter once again. Did Sekhmet stay out after all? <laughs> and we got the <laughs> sick DAC just to style. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking disrespect to DHC! DHC stands for disrespectful hater combo in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that was good. Earned, genuinely. So this is 2-2 two, two so far? 2-2. Two, two. This you is love close. To see it. You love this. I've been it's working. Both of, both of these players are actually from the RTS fight zone, so I'm pretty sure that they Whoa. practice against each other a lot. That makes it, you know, that that's why we see the, the hater aid at the end of that last round. That's why. All right. So far, it's looking like Kirk Hammer might not be on the only gauntlet, but this is like opening, so. Egret's charged and makes some space reset. Hey, 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 hey. Although the game still says that Zoom Light's the leader. 
And it switches right as I say that. <laughs> All right. Reset wow. in overhead. That, the thing is, is that zoom light was in the air for that. It wasn't an overhead. That was just right. fucked up. Ooh, happy birthday super. Oh, from uh, Robo Fortune drops out because of her uh, heaviness. <laughs> Robo Fortune's actually midweight, I want to say. Hmm. Oh, she's not the like, uh, big fan or the oh, like, which I've been playing with her before. She should be. If she's like Robo Kai. And then Zoom Light gets the pretty easy That's entry combo. Oh, we said it again. Drops it. Stops the super. super. Oh. Kirk no, Hammer left Hammer one character. Yeah, crossing yeah. under. Kuko coming in with that heavy under, kick. Under, again. And Reversal super. Super? Big combo. Okay. Doesn't continue. Drops, Two clone characters. Uh, or a character and her clone, rather. Oh no. Did I might really want to off. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! What am I with this? Oh my god. And teasing. Oh, like, teasing camera just it like there. jumped up, did a heavy, and. Like, Zoomlight did a super, did a DHC in response to realizing that his first super was going to miss. And, yeah, that takes it. <laughs> Kirk Hammer could not run the gauntlet today. Next. Even though he looked really close to. <laughs> Next Kirk up, Hammer. we have got Empathy versus Clawmaster. This will be fun. Now, if this you were be... here earlier, you might remember Empathy as, hmm... Beowulf solo. <laughs> so, I said it before, and I'm going to say it every, every time I see Solo Wolf, I'm going to say it. He's not the tag team champion. He's the people's champion. He doesn't need the assist. He absolutely does because he's a setup character, but he doesn't need <laughs> the assist, though. Solo, solo character? All the hype. Solo Beowulf is scary. He does so much damage. Yep. <laughs> Python? Python? Already scary, even with two other characters, but the damage in solo as a reversal? Oh my god. It's good to be out. Quiet on the set. Of course, uh, Beowulf assists are... Beowulf is hard against Big Band. He yeah, Big Band can just interrupt and Beowulf does. He's, he's just got so many single hit attacks, and chicken blocking is a solid defensive tool for him usually. It's hard yeah. again. <laughs> this does not look like a good matchup for Empathy. Just jumping out of the corner there. Empathy really reacts to Super, which does not really work out. <laughs> Snap, snapping, <laughs> out yep, snapping out there to uh, actually get rid of the recoverable health that solo characters have. Oh, is that a thing? Yes. If you're a wow. solo character okay. and you snap someone and you have red health, you can actually recover that health. Like so. Yep. Using Sacrifice. the outtake to set up. Okay. Ah, uh, predicted the jump gets the cross up anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that. <laughs> Flawmaster takes game one. Yep. At least, at least this time this is a solo character against a duo, so. But that's honestly pretty bad for Beowulf because that just means he takes more damage than usual. And it's, yeah, and that's, that's a the, thing. The damage differential between a solo and a triple team is scary, but between a solo and a duo, not so much. Uh, yeah, I think that duo teams scary. are distinctly underappreciated in terms of value, both in that they have excellent damage and they have an assist option. It's the best of both worlds between solo and triple. You lose out on some options, but you just deal so much damage. I'm hitting with the chair early. Hitting both characters with the heavy kick there. Reversal Python. Oh. Can't pick up too close to the wall. Again. Like oh, I said earlier, heavy game. dive kick. Oh. Back in the corner. Ooh! 
Look at how much damage Ban took from that sequence. I'm telling you. He's got damage. Yeah, and the thing is, is that Clawmaster just keeps sending out Ban, so he isn't even able to recover any of it. Oh, Reset. and you can keep the combo off of the band grab too. First oh, first game. Clawmaster taking game two. That was a very quick game. That was only uh, 28 seconds. <laughs> Come on, empathy. Empathy, I'm feeling for you here. Anyways, on the topic of solo characters, they're very rare. But Wing Zero is a solo Philia player who's been playing that character, I think... Since launch. Since launch? Since you, launch, yeah. You can tell they're dedicated because they play base color Philia. They don't even That'd... play a palette swap. They play base-ass Philia solo. That's love. That's, That's love is what that is. You went into train. You No, you picked up the demo for Skullgirls. You played solo Philia, and you're like, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need anyone else. And you don't, really. Solo characters can work well, and characters like Philia don't have it enough. Like he's there. the true player one. Our like, all, all he needs is that he's the first person to ever play the game, which he probably isn't. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of other notable. Uh, I, remember, I remember I watched a combo breaker where a solo peacock was in top A. I think Mr. Peck has played some solo Peacock before, but he mostly has Peacock and I want to say Cerebella. I don't take 10, or I don't take SG10, I think his name is, plays solo Beowulf, and he's quite good. Oh, um, both missing their meters. Solo Peacock is Lalito. That sounds about right. Lalito. I told you, Beowulf damage is real! Oh, Chunk! Oh! Actually oh! beating the command grab super there. Oh my god, get out of the grab! Big Band blocked it though. Oh no. This, oh, the this, should the this won't this won't kill, but it's gonna be a very so bad situation for empathy. It's gonna be a hard oh, You gotta you gotta feel for empathy here. This is a oh, hard Big band. From a box chime to the Astros, <laughs> taking it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Empathy 1784, thank you so much for giving us something to look forward to with Solo Beowulf. Yeah. <laughs> Clawmaster better stay in here. Get back in here. Clawmaster, get back in here. It's you versus Zumlight. Yep. Did, uh, did these two already go against each other? Or. Uh, let me check. No, no they didn't. They have not. They have it was not. Crown X that sent Clawmaster down here. Crown X is waiting in finals for you, Clawmaster. You gotta get up there. You gotta get back. Yep, this is losers' finals. You see, actually, this is interesting. Empathy says he only started playing a month ago. That's insane. That... I can see it. I can you, see it. You gotta show up more, man. <laughs> you got potential, Empathy. Come, come in and play more. Yeah. Uh, if. If Zunlight wins here, he will have a rematch against Destabilize next round in Losers. But if Clawmaster beats Zunlight and Destabilize, he gets a rematch against Crown Axe. So this is this is a lore battle right here. Oh my goodness. The far off dragon. <laughs> Oh yeah, the dragon, dragon! <laughs> Goodness. Clawmaster Damn taking me. out Pain Wheel without even getting hit once. Catch him to check and block. Yeah. Man, Clawmaster's looking at a perfect right now. Yeah, really it happened. wants it to happened. get into Grands right now. Yeah, for sure. Overhead. The throw reset. Goes for the burst bait. Trying to burst bait with the Undizzy and finally and takes his first hit. <laughs> oh, is it possible for uh, Perfect to 
Well, it doesn't matter anymore. But is it possible for a perfect to come back no. if they heal no. red health? No persona perfect. No. They recently adjust what can count as a proof for Eliza, considering her healing. Perfect. They changed that. Got... Okay. If, if someone hits you, you're perfect. Yeah. Doesn't matter if it's Chip or your assist getting hit and healing it. There's just no coming back from that. I'm trying to burst bait Real there, respect. but... Clawmaster taking game one of three. Fairly dominant. So admittedly, that was a very dominant round. Excellent. It's 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 difficult to find uh, real mistakes in Sunlight's play, considering there's just so many mix-ups that can occur versus someone like Squiggly. It's and then it's, it's banned as well. Really, it's just knowing the matchup there, and Squiggly Squiggly's not an incredibly popular character. She's she's she, on the lower no. end, but she's scary. The, Literally, forward heavy punch alone makes that character so good. I think that, uh, I think she's one of those dedicated type characters, like Pain Wheel, where they're not incredibly popular, but when you see them, they know their stuff. Like, they play the character. It's not someone like Big Band, where people, everyone will flirt with them a little bit because they're just really cool and solid, you know? Like, Big Band's just already solid. Getting that reset again off that forward heavy punch you mentioned earlier. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to challenge Squiggly with their stance cancels, making practically everything plus. Oh my goodness. Getting a nice charge. I remember the first time I saw Squiggly Band, I was like, oh god. Squig Band is a very real team. Oh <laughs> man. I mean, it's... It's a DLC combo. Like, what are you? What are you gonna do about it? Hey, hey! It's not All DLC the anymore. Game are well balanced. No longer DLC. They're free. They're base game. Yeah. Yep. They're base game now. Oh yeah, that's also true. <laughs> they aren't DLC anymore. Oh my God, Clawmaster wanting to just instantly send us up the grounds. Clawmaster's hungry. I hope he doesn't tire yeah, himself. Yeah, Clawmaster out. really oh, wants that Leo. And there's not much Zoom Light is able to do about it. Oh, he even goes out with the... <laughs> Goodness. We'll be right back after these messages. Although, this is only game two. This, this, this is only game two. We can see yeah. reverse 3-0, but Zoom Light not even showing a chance of being able to fight back against just this incredibly oppressive team. Yeah. I want to take this moment to say, hey, if you're enjoying the the matches here, I I have to say, top three, they're gonna get a payout. Donate, a... donate now. We've got forty nine sixty in the pot. So, What's the split? First What's place split? gets sixty. Second place gets thirty, and third place gets ten. Right. So if we get the nice of fifty, third place gets five bucks. That's a happy meal. Dude, that's a four for four and like a dollar that you get to save, dude. That's like a small a five for four. <laughs> oh my god, Clawmaster starting out hitting the instant assist. Or no, that's a four for five. <laughs> Reset again. Wait, is this losers finals? This is losers um... finals. So that means uh, both of these players will Wait, get at I'm least a four. No, losers, losers yep. finals is next. Next yep. is losers yep. finals. Yep. This is not Wizard Finals, I was lying to everyone. Oh, okay. I forgot. So one of these players will at least get 10%. Love to see, you love to see hatred install. Yeah, oh my god, these combos are sick. Oh my goodness. The Pain wheel. Pain wheel. Pain wheel. Earning her name. Oh, entry Tiffany Drive. I love to see it. Quick apologies to Abe for forgetting about you being in Wizard Finals there. Big Band, Anchor Big Band, final Big Band for Zen. Reversal Super, misses. Air Grab? Or Anti-Air Grab, rather. Not quite an Air Grab. Yeah, 
giant step overhead. That drops the combo, unfortunately. But all right, all right, down out. to the last characters. Excellent pickup. Ooh, and Clawmaster is looking at evening the odds. However, Eliza's got damage and she's got a good bit of meter. Lady of Slaughter does massive damage. Versal oh, super. yeah. <laughs> Zuma could just damage. Lady of Slaughter at any moment and he'd win. Except, the kill. oh, Clawmaster doesn't let it happen. Clawmaster taking it 3 0. A couple bad decisions are all it takes at the end there. Now we are going to be seeing Clawmaster versus Abe. Can Clawmaster keep up this momentum? Can Clawmaster please stay in the lobby? <laughs> Clawmaster's are trying to Clawmaster wants to make it easier for you though, since it resets their wins for the set. That's true. See? That's true. It makes it easier. It makes it makes your job easier. Good point, good point, good point. Apologize. You're being very rude. I'm sorry, gamers. See? See? Don't apologize to gamers. Come on. But what about the gamers and the fucking... The fucking... We don't have gamers and glizzies. We've just got glizz heads. We've just got glizzsters. We've got glizzsters, no gamers. Uh, if you're having fun watching this glizzy... I found some wild name. glizzies! <laughs> if you're having fun watching Glizzy Wednesday's permanent names, featured event, uh, and subsidiary Glizzy Thursday's temporary name, make sure to drop a follow on the stream, by the way. We do these uh, bi-weekly. Gentlemen and ladies, it's showtime! Deuces versus Clawmaster. I haven't seen Deuces since, I want to say, the beginning of the tournament, even. No, that's not true. We've seen Deuces in the middle of the tournament. <laughs> oh, Although, yeah, it's only been, like, two games this game the third. It just feels like it's been a while since we've been through losers. You know... The way that parcel is drawn kind of reminds me of a Kai Riot. That's big. Robofortune took a hefty amount of damage from that sequence. It might be yeah. worth it. Parasol was able to block it, but... First bait there. Wait, did Parasol block it? Yes. Ooh, saw the reversal coming. This is an American tournament, after all. Wake up, Super. Going to be common. Oh, God, these combos. Big Are you saying American out. fighting game players do reversals more often than... No, American wake up, Supers. Super, wake up, Supers. It's wake up, Supers. Americans love them. When... When discussing personalities <laughs> and player habits, Americans love wake up supers, Japanese players respect fireball game, and Europeans don't exist. Mm. <laughs> That's big damage. Lexi Beam! Abe taking round one. Yep. I convincingly, it. too. Oh, most definitely. Just not giving Clawmaster any chance to play and set up. Yeah. Very. Squiggly is very much a snowball fitting her uh, light color scheme there. Mm. Just. She melted under the heat. <laughs> but if she gets that momentum, she will become an avalanche. It builds up. It builds up. She's a very momentum heavy character. Yeah. Because if she can get those stances, she can make everything safe. Everything's, everything is safe once you've got it. And of course, you can take advantage of neutral to charge some things as well. In instances, once you take the first character they've got, you can charge up, which just strengthens the next combo exponentially. Speaking of strong... Oh my goodness, this is open with an assist, and he's paying for it. Master didn't appreciate our puns. I'm so. surprised I didn't... Oh, wait. Didn't have the meter to double snap there, but... Looking like it's gonna have the same effect anyway. <laughs> this is, oh, this no, is what no. I mean by Squidly being such a momentum heavy character. Of course, as I say that, instantly. Of course, as you say that, he dropped the combo. Destruction <laughs> killer. Bursting out. It's good that uh, it's good that I had a turn not being the commentator's curse oh, that time. Oh wow. Fortune comes in with nothing but scraps and bolts. She's in tatters. Junkyard scrap. Oh! 
That was the perfect scene to take out that life. Oh, wow. And now Clawmaster is looking at a very quick win. Didn't actually do the burst bait correctly. And Abe getting... Of course, it might not be as quick if... Uh, I was gonna say if they st stayed in a... Cross up there. That's gonna quail squiggly unless it's dropped. And he's Five got excellent meter. Excellent versions. With full meter. Okay. Now all of a sudden we're down to the last characters. Creation pillar. Oh, but Clawmaster's uh, Big Band gets the uh, combo. Big Band damage. Tiffany Drive. Ratio to Big Band Very does fat to damage. It. Jumping oh, right no! over. Oh no! He misses the uh, uh, giant step. And now he's getting comboed. Can Deuces do re Ooh, reset? Can Deuces cover all the ground? Um, oh no! Didn't he gets time the heavy punch. Right as the super comes out. Didn't time the heavy punch correctly, or must have tried to press another button. But you can't block while air dashing, unfortunately. Clawmaster taking nope. game one, game two to make it one one. Clawmaster did not appreciate that first match. Clawmaster really did not appreciate that first match. Hey, I... <laughs> there is yep. pride on the line here this Glizzy Thursday. As someone who used to play Squiggly, I can... I can appreciate it. It's... Now, uh, because we're actually looking at Losers Finals for real, every single one of these players will be getting a payout. Yep. That's true. There will be the gets ten percent. The winner gets thirty. Well, assuming they don't win all the entire match, we don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. The the winner has a chance of getting sixty. They have but a they'll chance. be getting thirty at least. They get a chance to reset the bracket. Yep, for sure. These are some great they'll players. Have, they'll have to work for that sixty though. Oh, they gotta earn. Gli oh, oh man. Has to burst the happy out. birthday, but Deuces bursts out of it. Oh, that jumping and heavy punch. He like does the jumping punch to get the assist, but forgets that that's the assist, not the main player. Oh, and so Clawmaster just does the beam, takes out his parasol. Oh, almost tagged. Two sings? There's okay, the, Squiggly combo. There's the forward heavy punch. Coming away for burst bait. Getting the assist, not being able to pick up from it. Excitement, though. Sing. Oh, there it Ooh, is. Oh, that was a low. And there goes all of that health Annie had. It's up to Annie all over again. Yeah. Oh my goodness. First game, we see a convincing win for Deuces. Second game, uh, we see a close win for Clawmaster, and now we're seeing a convincing game for Clawmaster. <laughs> yeah. Clawmaster woke up. If, Clawmaster woke up. If Clawmaster can continue this pressure, Abe will be sent out and yeah, Clawmaster either Clawmaster will be going to winners like, finals. Either the pattern continues and Clawmaster gets a perfect or something, or um, it goes backwards and then Deuces takes it to game five. I'd love to see a game five. I would love to see Deuces stay in this just a little bit longer. Yep. Yeah, are we seeing a check mark or are we seeing an M? <laughs> I want to I see an ego check. That's what it is. Yeah. The ego check. <laughs> Favorite stage in the game? It's a good stage. It's pretty. I love this song so much. Well, and it seems like Clawmaster's okay, singing their own tune here. Oh my goodness, what if we do see the... Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, what if we do see the Clawmaster perfect? <laughs> yep. oh. oh my god. Why does that happen to me so often? Don't snap! Misses, oh. misses the birthday. I tell you... Squiggly having forward heavy punch fucking elevates this character. If she didn't have it, she would be, I want to say unplayable, but yeah. she'd be so, so much weaker. Yeah. So much weaker. Just having that option just makes her mix up incredible. Especially because she can make it safe if she has the stance leveled up. Okay. Even outside of an overhead mix up, it's just an excellent lockdown uh, normal. All missing to Annie one last time. Oh, 
Oh, it looks uh, like we aren't gonna do that ego check. <laughs> uh, command grab. Ooh, just, oh! Well, that assist missing doesn't matter, because Climaster wins. Three zero, -oh. and it looks like Climaster was going on the grands. Grands. All right. Climaster. He's going on to M one Garens. Yeah. Uh, Climaster versus Chronix. Maybe you're. Uh, you were not saying. Mm 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 mm. Thank you to Destabilize Abe for playing. Excellent show. Genuinely fun to watch. Great performances. Crown Actress is Clawmaster, two players who have fought tooth and nail to get here on right. this Philia's birthday. Yep, it is Philia's birthday. If Happy you, birthday, Philia. If you didn't notice the little uh, hot dog Philia in the corner there. Who drew that? Me! Really? Yeah, I drew that. Oh my god, it's adorable. Thank you. All right, it's the C versus the C. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, so we're going to be seeing Double Cerebella versus... Uh... <laughs> we're going to be seeing... <laughs> All right. Did you get out your system? You have fun with the CC bit? <laughs> is CC still around, actually? That that pizza buffet business? Is that still a thing? I think it is. I don't know. Oh, I imagine I was... you would die in the pandemic. Speaking I was of saying, dying like, here... CC is in, like... You know, the things and the settings of Mario Kart. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Some of Mario Kart might have some fast rounds here. Clawmaster going in with these damages and loops. Drops it, however. All right, get some damage on the assist. Oh, but Clawmaster gets the combo with the squiggly. Now, are we going to see a reset? No. Oh no! We're gonna see an assist. Oh, Does not catch car. Uh, continues to combo on Squiggly though. Cerebella picks that up somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Big Band, Big Band bounced on the ground. Ooh! Cerebella jumps right over Big Band and gets a combo. And now we're back to footsies. Oh. <laughs> oh! Didn't block the low. Cerebella fighting away out of the corner. Clawmaster sending her back. Ooh! Yeah, outtake to get rid of all that red there. health and the double. Snap out. Taking some hot damage. And oh no! Him. And Kronax loses his double. Yep. Tags in big band. Clawmaster keeping Squiggly in the back so she can heal her wounds. You gotta know Squiggly. She's a zombie. <laughs> oh, and, ooh! Okay. That's damage. Diamond reversal. Excellent. Diamonds are unbreakable. Always surprises me. Diamonds are forever. Get out of here, JoJo fam. Oh, whoops. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I don't even watch JoJo. I've only seen Phantom Blood. Yeah, I need to make sure that Clawmaster is... That being said, though, my roommate actually, like, has been planning since forever to, like, get me to watch all of JoJo. And we just never have. Yep. Anyway. That is endeavor and a half. <laughs> Diamonds are forever, I gotta remember that. Yep. Clawmaster actually taking game one to move it towards a bracket reset because if you're not familiar with double elimination, you need to send the winner to loser's bracket so that you can actually take the tournament. Meaning, yep. Clawmaster double have elimination to means you have to win twice, or you have to lose twice before you get taken out of the bracket. And so because the person from winner's bracket hasn't lost yet, he has to lose twice in grands before he loses the tournament. So Clawmaster would have to win six times. Although then again, loses probably not the right word because they still get second place. <laughs> it's you know. Ooh, these this big band damage. It's not going to kill, but that's giant still- Giant step, though, and that range is unblockable. With giant step. And that is going to kill. It's my screen, giant step is unblockable, folks. Remember that. Yeah. Because Big Band needs it, obviously. Dragon Punch. 
or dragon punch, I suppose. Dragon. Dragon. Leviathan's not a dragon, remember. Just everything else is. Yeah. Ooh, super armor. Doesn't do much. Punishing the lock okay, and load. Big big damage. Combo? Sending her into the corner. Sending Cerebella into the corner. Clubmaster's gonna have meter to burn as well. Diamonds are unbreakable! Oh, <laughs> Just because it's armor it doesn't mean it cannot oh my goodness. be grabbed. Oh, my voice is cracking. Excellent read! Excellent read! Clawmaster taking game two. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Clawmaster's literally... Like, Claw you Master. saw! You saw the animation start! He yep. was going yep. to the it. diamonds are unbreakable, but then it got interrupted by the grave! Check it. Check it. Check Literally it. saved Check by the library. bell. The cerebella color exploit is actually just America. Sadly, it is the not. A reference. If you want a if you want a Sailor Moon reference, though, Annie does have one. And funnily enough, cerebella has an Annie reference. Don Hibiki in chat, the winner of last of a uh, last. Oh, Don's in the chat. Today. Tournament's going pretty well, Don. Clawmaster versus Crownax. Hopefully, you remember Crownax was your opponent when you played. You know, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Cronax was second place when you were first. So far, Cronax is in winners, Clawmax are in losers, but fighting their way back up. Raw tag in Cerebella, catches Raw up. tag in Cerebella. Misses the anti air oh, grab. Anti air grab. Of course, it misses. Oh no! <laughs> Those recovery frames. Just playing some neutral here. Keeping out of Cerebella's yeah, range. Seems... Kranax really wants That's to stay in the air. Hit. He does not want to get hit by giant stuff. Oh no. Ooh. And he lands the Look at that first meter. Hit. Gets a reset. Ooh. Just staying out. <laughs> That's good. Super armor. Gets enough time to. So wacky. Boy in the joint. Oh, he dodges oh, the giant stuff. Diamond Dynamo anti air. Yep, into the Dragon? Beast. Double grab reset. The Maw? Alright, double combos. Yep. No burst whatsoever. Does Risky. not get the reset. Yep. All these Claw Master tags in Squiggly. Or Crown. No. Yeah, Claw Master. <laughs> I was right the first time. Silver cord was charged. Oh no. Double doesn't do anything against Band. I'm out of getting afraid. Projectile for these. Slapping Sarabella oh, jumps over the command grab super. Wait, what happened there? So Squiggly called Sing, and then uh, Double was able to jump away from the command grab super there. Wild. Donk, 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 donk. Not quite dead though. Are we gonna see a raw tag to just get Big Band in? No, super. That's uh, damage. DHC. DHC there. That's enough. <laughs> Man, both of these players are just trying their hardest to keep their characters alive. As they should. Yep. Oh. Yep, for sure. Giant stuff doesn't pick up the Cerebella, though. That's a dead double. And finally, Could with 23 seconds here. left on the clock, oh. we get our first character death. No meter, though. No meter. Oh my god. Clawmaster will have a hard time killing here with no meter. Giant step, though. Mm. No! Ooh! The 360 grab. That's bad. The this could go is... either way. Oh. Misses the entry thing. Oh no! He Shit. tried to die. No way. Clawmaster. the bracket. Sending Cronax to loser's bracket. To Shit in finals! True finals! True, True finals. Finals. This is it, folks. This is the end. This is the end. If you guys um, remember week one, we did not have a bracket reset. No, Don Hibiki took that one. Yeah, Don quickly. just took the tournament cleanly. But now we're seeing a bracket reset between Crownax and Clawmaster. Don Hibiki seemed to have forgotten to join this time, though. He no. was a bit too late in joining. He didn't yeah. sign up in time, right? It's a, yeah, just not in time, unfortunately. It's Remember, a, folks, 
Glizzy is free and available for anyone who wants to join, regardless of skill level. All that matters is you show up. Yep. Yep. <laughs> we got people playing Skullgirls oh, this... in, in, the, in the Discord all the time, but that doesn't matter. We've got Discord going on in this match here. Double being sent in the corner. Drops the combo, stops the assist from coming in, gets the throw. Reset with the throw. Clawmaster's trying to make a story out of this right now. Trying to get that clean 6 0. <laughs> They're really trying to tear and tell a narrative. <laughs> this is for the plot. This is for the plot, I'm telling you. This is for the plot. <laughs> Oh, sing? Silver screen. Green oh, 360 command grab! Something spectacular. It's DHC. Get the beast. Get the Go beast. Look at that damage. Going first. Yeah, I tried the cross up. Oh my goodness. Squiggly's just taking a beating right yeah. now. Oh, tuba! Yeah. Squiggly just needing to Wait, That's up. not a tuba, that's a French horn. <laughs> All these raw tags, they work. They work. Listen, sometimes you gotta get your man out. Oh no. <laughs> sometimes you gotta out. get the man out. For sure. Gets the restand. Doesn't finish how the much, combo though. How much red health did Squiggly lose? A lot. Oh, like, A lot. Definitely more yeah. than 50%. Oh, he interrupts the super with a grab. Super grab. Oh no. Did he have to push block out of that? No, yeah, there, there's, there's a system where you can, if you block, you can actually do a super off of a uh, block stun. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, you can super off block stun for reversal. That's wild. Because <laughs> they want moments like that, because they're cool as hell. <laughs> Big Band's got big damage, but so do those two characters I don't remember over there. if they talked about that in the tutorial. They did. Huh. Big Band trying to play neutral here. He's got giant normals, big moves, especially in air. Just trying to symbol clash, but Sarah Bella pulling out her symbol claps. Those Luger shots, too. Oh, giant step oh, being a giant, giant step. hit. And that's probably going to kill. Go. 18 yep. seconds on the <laughs> clock. Skull seconds. Call Master catch All right. Battle oh, of the, the Giant Step. God. And Giant Step. Infinity and that's going to kill. kill. <laughs> Close match from Crown Axe. But that's another, that's another win for Clawmaster. Cl one step closer to the <laughs> unbelievable 6-0. <Clutch> Destabilized. <laughs> Two. Two more. Two more club master, you got this. For the plot. It's for the plot. Yeah. You... Give Crown X a reason to come to next Glizzy. Yeah. You fought. Did you? Wait, hold on. Yeah, Crown X was the one who sent Clawmaster to losers in round I two. I told you earlier, this is for the plot. Yeah. This is the story man. This is the canon battle. And that that was that was two three. That was a close match. Is Clawmaster gonna 6-0? It's possible. They're hungry. They're hungry. They want it. But Big Man getting tagged early in the match there. Oh. And the wind catching them both. Oh. Kranax doesn't want that 6 0 to happen. See, that's something Kranax and I do not have in common at this moment. Kranax <laughs> is maintaining dominant presence here in the corner. Just Reset. Low. Reset. Look at, look at all that damage. Trying to burst uh, with. Oh my god! Oh my goodness. Clawmaster with the grave grabs. Crown Axe becoming one of the spectators. He's so here. good at it. He just does it so often. Tremelo, not it always it. surprises us when he does. Snapping out. Oh, that, that was a lot of red health. <laughs> Tried to cross up, but didn't actually hit. Oh, jumps over the car, the car. and it completely misses. Oh, oh this is, man. This is looking bad. Clownmaster jumped over that like it was Halo. Mm. Oh, diamonds are forever. Nice pickup. That's the thing about Sarah Bella. Her damage is so high. Sarah Bella will just do that to you. All right, sing. 
Tags in Big Dan? The raw tags in these matches have been crazy. They're working. Yeah. <laughs> They're working. Why are we seeing raw tags in... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Reef that's... Fucking Mary Gorilla on Big Ban looks so dinky. Big Ban over here living moss. Claw Master is not what you do. Oh, low reset and might take it. Oh my goodness. Claw Master. Oh my goodness. Now. We really might be looking at a 6 0. Match tournament point. Tournament point for Claw Master. Claw Master going, no. I'm not going to let you win against me again. And in fact, I'm going to shove your face in the dirt before you even think that <laughs> you're going to be able to play. He's taking his crown and axing his head. Is Clawmaster the hero? Is Clawmaster the hero here or the villain? I can't tell anymore. I can't tell. It doesn't matter. I'm rooting for them. <laughs> yeah, that's the right answer. <laughs> I got to say, Clawmaster uh, is called Clawmaster. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you mentioned it earlier how Clawmaster runs the Molly account on uh, Twitter that lets that promotes all these tournaments, all these small online tournaments. Clawmaster's <laughs> keeping Skullgirls alive. I would say Clawmaster's like key in the community right now. It's honestly yeah. great to see that they play too. Yeah. I I was, I was shocked seeing them, but Crown X looking like they're getting used to uh -oh. their nonsense now. Cranax, Cranax is about to make this 6-0 not happen. <laughs> yep, sending Squiggly, and Squiggly out is already early. dead. And that's pretty bad because I feel like Squig uh, Clawmaster's Squiggly is a bit stronger than Big Ban. Now, of course, you can't ignore the fact that Big Ban just has massive damage and is a fantastic anchor no matter. Although, on the other hand, it's it only going to make it all the more hype if uh, Clawmaster wins this with Big Ban. Misses the super though. Oh, no misses the super. That's oh, but he's like yeah. He Locks finds a gap in Crown X's. Is... Ah! <laughs> he snaps out. That's a lot of red health loss. Blood. Oh my goodness. Blood. He might actually do it. Oh, of course, no. it looks so convincing when the Just, oh! it's smashing <laughs> super. That counts as oh wake my up God. super. Blocks this is that. Crazy. Punishing the car. This is a dead double. <gasps> <laughs> anchor One versus anchor, blast. blue versus blue. Yep. <laughs> These are the grapplers who keep teams together, and now they're going to rip each other apart. Okay. Reset. Reset. Ah! Which is super okay. the corner. It's the oh, oh, no. I mean, punish punish him. Him. he blocks it. Sarah Bella now with no meter, and Big Bam's got one. Okay. Oh my That's god, this is nuts. <laughs> Live Moss. It's the air throw. Back to neutral. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can take it. You can do a route. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Oh my okay. god, the giant oh my god, step. Look up. I don't think this is gonna is kill. Gonna do it? Wait, this is gonna kill. Oh. One Red hit. Forward? Giant step. Giant step. <laughs> Ah, it out. Get out of here. Claw Master with the six. Oh. oh my god! Cannon. 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 Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. What? Oh. Decisive 6 0 reset for Claw Master and revenge grudge match. Biggest oh my god! <laughs> Remember me? Powerful. <gasps> Powerful shit. play. Thank you so oh, much, Chronix. I Thank actually don't feel good. Tournament. <laughs> that... Clawmaster be taking first, Chronix second, destabilizing <gasps> third. Oh, Incredible. my arms are tingling. Yeah. <laughs> that was incredible. Oh. I'm gonna drink me some water. Kind of an uneventful tournament, all things considered. Uh, okay. It's pretty standard Thursday night scuggers. It's nothing. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Dak. <laughs> oh. Always a good time. Glizzy's always. Do you want an interview, Claude? Do you want to get in? No, no. No it's, post. No listen, post. Listen, it's it's twelve thirty for me. I need to get to bed. I, 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 all right, I, for I, sure, Valerie. Especially with something like that. Oh. 
I just gotta say, um, I'm gonna do another shout out on the Macharino. If you wanna, if you wanna give, uh, the top three, which was Clawmaster in first place with an amazing 6-0, uh, Crownax in second, trying their hardest and going through the entire winner's bracket, and then third place to our resident destabilized Abe. Uh, just gotta say, if you're one of the top three, make sure you have a Macharino account, uh, and hit up, uh, Jacob because he has the Macharino details. Uh, gotta say, thank you so much for showing up. Being able to run tournaments like this and keep a game that has been with me for the past nine years alive is really, really special. And it's how we, it's it's so important right now too with COVID. It, this is how we keep the genre alive. Genuinely, these kind of grassroots small online tournaments are so key right now, both for the community and just again the genre. Fighting games need this. Yeah, but I gotta say, thank you everyone just for showing up. Big thanks to Clawmaster for giving us a great show, and thank you to Dak and Russo for helping me commentate because mm -hmm. this stuff thanks is for hard, having me as well <laughs> but, oh my goodness always always down it's always fun oh, i need that to... might be the most hype grand finals i've ever seen <laughs> yeah i need that to, was uh... oh like the way clownmaster didn't just get a 6-0 he won with a raw super <laughs> Uh, it, it was chip out though. It was chip. It was big band. Well, chip. okay, yeah, I guess that Come was on. fair. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the stream now. It's no longer Philia's birthday for me, but oh, happy birthday true. to her anyway, even though she wasn't in grants. And she never. <laughs> she never. Oh yeah. Speaking of birthdays, it's gonna be my 21st in six days. <laughs> Damn. Oh shit! Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thanks yep. for showing. See you, Valerie. Thanks for having us. <laughs>